We got uh, four lovely ladies on a podcast today. Uh, let's go. All right, we are back, ladies and gents. So uh, everyone that's tuned in right now, we are live on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, if you're on YouTube, click the link in the description. We do have the Discord up right now. We just started the Discord, like, uh, when was it? Uh, last week? Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago we started the Discord? And uh, yeah, man, we need to get some more members in the Discord. So, man, click the link and it's free, you know? Just sign up for the Discord. You get all the new updates on when we drop merch, um, when we take our trips. We got a trip in Vegas uh, in two weeks, actually, I'm not even going to drop the names of the podcast that we're going to be uh, on. And uh, some of yeah, y'all requested it and we're making it happen. So um, I'll drop it soon, though. Actually, maybe later in the podcast, if this gets enough likes, I may drop um, who I'm going to be featuring on uh, my podcast and the other podcast I'm going to be going on out in Vegas. Um, other than that, though, uh Click the subscribe notification and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We about to hit 100K on YouTube. We had uh, 93,000, I believe. Yeah, 93,000 subscribers. So we 7,000 subscribers away, and it's only been a year or maybe a little bit under a year. But other than that, uh, let's have the ladies introduce themselves, and uh, we are going to start over here. <laughs> uh, let's get your name, age, and where you from. I have to tell my age? You got to tell that age, baby girl. Oh my god. If you fit, you say it with your chest. <laughs> I'm V. I'm 34. <laughs> you done took a couple. Don't cap. You 34? Yeah. So we the same age? Yeah. I didn't know you were 34. Okay. All right. Fair enough. 34. Name? I said V. Oh, V. Okay, V. Yeah. And where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did anyone pat her down? Uh, <laughs> she from Brooklyn. Uh, we need to. You be having a, the knife in the shoes, right? Oh, yeah, we gotta. Good. I see something poking right there. Actually, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do you do for a living, V? I'm project manager. Project manager. Yeah. Okay. I'm studying to get my real estate license. You studying to get your real estate license? Okay. Good for you. How many kids you got? Two. You got two? Yeah. How many baby fathers? One. You. You, yeah. Okay, you got one baby father. All right. Okay, <laughs> cool, cool. Relationship status? <clears throat> I want to be married. You, that was my answer. You said you want to be married. What's your status right now? You looking? No, I'm saying someone. Oh, you are saying someone. Yeah. Oh, you better claim that, nigga. I claim him. Oh, but you took a while. You just like, mm. no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> you, you asked the question. I wanna, okay, so you want to be married to him. I want to be married, yes. I want to be married to him. To him? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. How long y'all been dating for? A little while. Look, what's a little? You, your answers are so vague if you want to be married. Because I didn't You're know supposed you to be just giving a date. Like this. this is a lot. You're supposed to be giving a date. I've been, I've been with this dude for this amount of time. I love him. I want to be married. A little over a year. Oh, so it's kind of, okay. It's not that long. No. Y'all living together? No. Okay. Fair enough. You got kids? No. I'm asking too many questions. Let's yeah. move it. No. <laughs> Last question. Fun fact about yourself. A fun fact? Fun fact, yeah. I'm very fun. Mm. The last time we had a girl just give a regular answer, she was like, I'm funny. Yo, did she crack any jokes? <laughs> Both of them said it. I have Let's, to crack a joke. No, no, no. But you said fun. We're just going to yeah. see how fun you are doing a podcast. I'm a vibe. Is that better? The, what are we going to see? But the last girl said that they're funny. Oh. They got all the jokes, right? And then during the podcast, bruh, it was silent. I'm not trying crickets. to be a comedian. <laughs> it was... I'm not trying to be a comedian. Don't get it twisted. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. Moving right along. Name, age, and where are you from? My name is Mel, and I'm 28 from Guyana. Mel, can you move your mic a little closer like this? Is this okay? Yeah, move it a little bit more closer. Yeah, that's perfect. Mel, 28, from Guyana. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a real estate broker. Real estate broker. Yeah. Nice, nice. And uh, relationship status? Single. Single. How long you been single for? Two years. Closer? I got her. 
Oh, I know what it is. Actually, yeah, I don't think we set up the mic. I think it's catching it from um, the other mic. <laughs> What'd you say? It's catching from the one. Nope, I got it. So it's on. Hello? Yeah? Sorry, it's in the way. Good? Yeah, she should be good now. Yeah, okay. she's good. Sorry about that. I'm Mel, okay. um, the audience couldn't hear you, so let's get name, age, and where are you from again? I'm sorry. Melissa from Guyana, and I'm 28. Melissa, okay, now you give me your yeah. full name. Melissa, <laughs> okay, 28 years old, and what did you say you do for a living? Real estate broker. Real estate broker. Sorry, the audience didn't hear that. Sorry about those audio issues there. Um, and uh, relationship status? Single. Single. How long have you been single for? Two years. Two years. That's you like black guys? Who doesn't? Damn. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that, you like Mexicans? I don't know. I have never met a Mexican guy. Like, let me finish. Let me finish. We go down a we got a racial list, the ec, the ethnic list. You like uh, Chinese people, Chinese Asians? I mean, I like yeah. You been with an Asian? No. So how you know you like them? I don't know. That's like little kids be like, oh, I like that. They never had it before. You like, shut up, little nigga. You ain't even had that before. <laughs> no. Little kids always say they like something. They never had none before. Well, yeah, I'm a little child. I like everything. They go down a candy section. Oh, I like yeah. that candy right there. How you know you like it? You never had it. Shut it looks up. good. Mm. Okay. Because it look. There you go. There you go. It turned up early. All right. Mm -hmm. um, fair enough. Fair. Indians. How about Indians? Yeah. My Indian child. Okay. You, you like Indian? Oh, you said yeah. I did am I? Indian, so yes, I do like my my Indian. Brother. Okay, I'm just putting it out there. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, moving right along, let's go with your name, age, and where you from. My name is Jasenia. I am from originally from Brick City, Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. I'm 39, feeling fine. I am single, and I'm a digital content creator. Digital podcast content. Podcast host and, uh, yeah, a creator at heart. Nice. You want to shout out your podcast? A Girl Talks. Um, but you can follow me on my socials on I Am Jessenia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thank you for coming. Um, actually, before I let you finish, fun fact about yourself. I forgot about your fun fact. Oh. Uh, I don't know. What's, what's fun about you? People think that I'm rude. From time to time, I don't know. That's or fun. Miss attitude, I don't know. You miss attitude. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, it's a fun fact. I ah, see. We're going to see uh, if we could, um, you know, get that attitude out of you then. <laughs> okay. That's what we're going to see. Okay. How much of an attitude you have, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and what do you do for a living? I'm a digital content creator. Oh, yeah, you said um, that fun, digital fun content. Fact, yeah, fun fact of me. Did you want to know that? Let's do that last. Okay. Um. You said you're from Newark. Brick City, baby. How many cars did you steal? None, but None? I've been. But my brother had his stolen twice. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's okay. Newark, I'm New proud. Jersey Drive. That's where I you know, get your car I stolen. Know. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, and let's do relationship status. I am newly single. Um. That relationship ended days before my birthday, my 39th birthday. Okay. When, when was birthday your birthday? My birthday September, so let's do the math. October, November, December, January. February. Okay. Five months, five months. Five months. So you fresh out You yeah. fresh out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, and what's your type? When I was younger, I had a type. Now I don't have a type. I'm open. You open? I'm open. We got. We about to see right now. <laughs> I wanted to ask you. Gonna date an Indian with the dot in the middle of the head? If he treats me right, yeah. Bruh. Por qué no? <laughs> Yo, he. You gonna date a little Chinese man? Oh. Five five. Mm, I'm only five one, so he's taller than me. You'll take that. Why not? <laughs> okay. He's my okay. blessing. All right. This Have you ever had one before? An Indian or a Chinese man? I had a Japanese guy recently. Oh my god. You did have a Japanese? <laughs> All right. Maybe she is open. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Told you I was open. Cool. I was oh, pretty happy. Okay. I was I was pleasantly surprised. All right, so all my Japanese fans out there, <laughs> man. Hey, man, she oh, just okay. sliding her DMs, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, and fun fact about yourself. A fun fact about myself is I used to be overweight as a kid. Yeah. But how she overweight? Still, like you was? Oh, I was. I was. You was a big John. Yeah, I was. The, the doctor said I was obese, and until I was how, until how old? Until I was seventeen. So I have that. Fat girl personality. I yeah. can eat. You caught me when I was intermittent fasting. 
um, we were just talking. I have my problem is keeping weight off, so I have to keep that on check. But gotcha. yeah, I have a big girl personality. Big girl personality. And a little. And a little big girl person. Mm -hmm. Normally, mm, mm. <laughs> which means we're smart, witty, and fun. Me. Yeah, normally, so you know, normally <laughs> big girls probably get canceled for this, but uh, <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> normally the heavier set they are, uh, the lower the self-esteem is and the more they assert themselves on men. The big girls is normally the ones that approach guys and slide in guys' DMs. Was you one of those? Well, Instagram was an outback. No, then. that wasn't around. No, I was very shy. I was very shy, shy, but I was. I, I, I had a lot of guy friends. I was a tomboy. Well, every time I talk, you... <laughs> <laughs> I was I was a tomboy. You was a tomboy. Yeah. So okay. the guys just treated me like one of the boys. Okay. So I was never afraid. It's opposite. Um, I feel most comfortable around men. You I seem be super girly now, I could though. Be myself. When did that change? When did that change occur? Why do I look girly? I mean, no, you seem super feminine. Is what I'm saying. I'm trying to tap into my divine feminine because I lived most of my life in my masculine, trying to survive. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Uh, thank you for that. And did we do the fun fact? Oh, yeah. She said she was overweight. All right. Yeah. Um, name, age, and where are you from? Maya. I'm 24, and I'm from Lancaster County. Maya, 24, Lanca Lancaster. Dang, the Amish people. Mm -hmm. You got too many tats to be from the oh, Amish town. Yeah. <laughs> she like, uh, yeah, I did these without my parents being aware well, of this. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, my parents, well. They cool? I, my, yeah, my dad doesn't give a fuck. My mom. Yeah, they chill. You know, yeah, it just is what it is. But Fair um, enough. I was born closer to Philly, but like most, live, lived most of my life closer to um, Lancaster County. So. Okay. Word, word. And um, what do you do for a living? Um, I do OnlyFans. I stream. Okay. Um, I do tattoos. Oh, you do tattoos? Yeah. Oh, that's why you got tattoos. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. She do tattoos. That's why she got tattoos. Okay. And uh, you do OnlyFans. And what platform do you stream on? TikTok and occasionally Twitch. But Okay. You don't really like Twitch? Or... Yeah. Just like, like copyright stuff. And, oh, okay. You know. Yeah, true, true. I like to true. listen to music when I play video games. When you play games, video. So. What games do you play? Uh, right now, Warzone and Apex. Warzone and Apex. Dan, why are you shaking your head? Do you play those games? Okay, Dan hate Dan the producer hates Apex. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> um Okay, so you play video you good play Dragon Ball Z? No. You never play Dragon you never play Budokai Taekwinchi. Three. No. Oh man, you ain't no real gamer if you never play Budokai. I'm a gamer, I'm just not a weeb. <laughs> Wait, you said a dweeb? Weeb. weeb. Oh weeb. I never heard it. What's a weeb? <laughs> I thought a dweeb was. We put the D in front of it. See, the, these millennials, man, mm -hmm. they got new words. I, they took the D um, off. Say weeb. Fair enough, That's though. Hilarious. But the cutoff is. Or... <laughs> and uh, fun fact. Of, no, actually, relationship status. I'm single. Single. How long have you been single for? Uh, Like two, two and a half years. You date black guys? I don't have a racial preference. Have you dated the black guy? I've had a situationship. Oof. I don't know oh, if okay. that counts. Got you. Yeah. Got you. What about a Guyanese? What's that? A Guyanese guy. <laughs> like, I don't know. What is whatever she is. What? Oh, <laughs> Guyanese is not an ethnicity. Dan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, what's the ethnicity then? We we have six uh, race, six race. We have. Black, Samar Indians, East Indians. Europeans. East Indians. Oh, it's a lot over so, there. Okay. Yeah, uh, my... All right. Moving right along. <laughs> Fun fact. Um, I don't know. I, Any fun fact. I've moved around a lot. Okay. I've moved around a lot. Places. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Um, let's see what the chat's saying right now. Let me hop in the chat. Oh, boy. See what's good. I didn't know we could promote our OnlyFans. I have OnlyFans. Oh, you got a... <laughs> okay, you got the... She's like, wait a minute. Oh, I was like, the, wait. Okay. I, so we're the OF girls, huh? Yeah. Is that, is that why you guys put us on the I didn't know y'all was OF. I didn't even know y'all did OF. Y'all, right. this is a surprise to me. So y'all both do OF. Okay, this is the OF couch over here, <laughs> ladies and gents. Um, what couch is this? This is the New York Brooklyn couch? Realtor. What is this? I guess. This couch over here? Something, something. Something, something. We're going to figure out what this couch is as the conversations go on. Um, this is 
is the chill we don't this, do. This is the chill. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hey, chat, I see y'all in here. Appreciate the support, man. Hey, if anyone has any uh, questions or comments, feel free to send in the super chat. We are also um, playing uh, Smash, uh, Marry, or Kill, and um, you have to send in $5 minimum, $5 minimum, and uh, what you do is you send in a super chat uh, with your Instagram name. We'll pull up your Instagram on the screen so the girls can see. And uh, they're going to rate your Instagram, smash, marry, or kill. Oh so we'll, we'll do this like throughout the podcast. Whoever sends in a super chat of $5 with their Instagram name, we'll pull it up, man. And uh, yeah, man, we'll, we'll see if these ladies uh, want to smash. And if, if so, slide in the DMs, bro. It's that simple. Um <laughs> Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, uh, let's get to. Uh, actually, I'll start with y'all. Any ladies have any questions? Yeah. Why are you pointing yourself? Because you started with a question. You had a I don't remember. I don't recall. We wanted to talk about <laughs> men. Why do they wear a mask and pr give us a different version of who they actually are? Ask your question. Yes. No, was that your question? No. What, my question is all right, I have a question. Okay, all sure. Right. I have a question. What uh -huh. is going on with today's society? There's so many Peter Pans. What's a Peter Pan? A Peter Pan is a is a boy that doesn't want to grow up. Okay. That wants to stay in whatever fantasy land he's in and doesn't grow. We have a lot of grown ass men, quote unquote, that are children. So what is going on? Where did the gap what happened? Like, I mean, I grew up in a time, I guess because I'm thirty nine, that like they were really good quality men out there. Yeah. And now it's like men expect to be supported, taken care of, like I'm your mom. Uh-huh. So what are, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think that there's more there's like this whole epidemic of <laughs> boy of uh, panty boys. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we can go around a panel with that question just to get everyone's perspective and That's I'll go funny. last. Yeah, good question. <laughs> um let's start with you. Uh what's your thoughts on that? So she pretty much explained um, you know, with this situation going on with men, why there are so many beta males. Why do you think there's so many beta males? I feel like, you know, everybody just had a crazy upbringing and I think that's where it stems from. So I'm not and I'm not uh making excuses for men, you know. I do feel like they need to get their shit together, but I do feel like it started from like it it started from women. They seen women not really caring, so they like stopped caring. So now it's like we need them to care and they don't know how to because nobody taught them. So it's like we're getting a bad end of the stick. You said men, but I don't want to insult the men out there. They're boys, they're guys, they're males at the least. But men are men. You're right. <laughs> so, you know, these... What are your thoughts on I agree. Don't I'll get go last. I mean, because I'm I probably going to get agree. in detail. Yeah. So it. that's why when I, when, I, when I selectively talk about these type of males... I never confuse them with men because um, it's an insult for the men that are out there that are you actually... You think they have mommy issues and they're just looking for nurturing? <laughs> hey, chat. <laughs> I, I... Uh, well, wait, was that your answer? You kind of pretty much... Then I'll have yeah, you go I'm next. Done. I'm done. You could go. No, good. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> just, I love so, the whole thought. So her question was pretty much, why do you think that there are... Well, I'll act, you could actually ask it. Go ahead. Why are there so many beta boys? Like I said, probably they're just looking for attention. They they have mommy issues, so they're looking for you know that mommy out there. That's, That's one spectrum. Mm -hmm. That's just what I. Could what think. about the other spectrum? Sometimes they're spoiled too much by mommy, probably. and they want a mommy. And the problem is sometimes the mommy doesn't tell them, "Hey, you got to treat a woman better than you treat me," there because I'm not because I I could be your maid, I could be your chef, could I could be your your assistant. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can go ahead yeah. and not have her go. Sorry. You want to? No, go ahead. <laughs> I just wanted to tap in on that. That <laughs> part, those women, they they mold those men to stay there. So I feel like us as women, when we're having those dates and we're letting them know, like, yeah, we we're, like, we want relationships, we need to know what kind of relationship they have with their mom. Mm, mm -hmm, that is true. Those are the questions we need to ask. Like, how close are you? How so? So you think it's supposed to be like how close? Oh. So you think the beta males aren't that close with their mom? She thinks that. No, it's some oh. that are and some that aren't. But regardless of the like, she said mommy issues. I don't want to give it a label, you know. Yeah. I just feel like there are, and you said you don't want to call them men. So there's 
You could call grown them whatever. Men, there's grown <laughs> men that act like boys because, you know, they just, they need a certain something and they're lacking from their mom. That's how I feel. Sometimes I also think, and I agree, there's there's various reasons why I believe there's this epidemic happening. Um, the absence of motherly, womenly f- figures, and then there's the um, enabling. Seeing, because they can have no relationship with their mom and be great men because maybe the mom's too toxic or unhealthy or unbalanced and they want something different, you know? Um, then there's people who have parents or mothers specifically that their child could do no wrong. They're clearly doing something wrong, but you, you're not reprimanding them, you're not scolding them, you're not punishing them, you're not, you're not giving them chores. So I think you said the key word. You have to see how the relationship with their mom is. Does he use his mother or does he love his mother? Because those are different things. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so uh, <laughs> chat, I'm just letting the ladies give their perspective <laughs> and uh, I'll go last. <laughs> um, you could go, Maya. Um, I don't know. I think like... I don't know how much of like an epidemic it is, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I don't live, really live see long it. Enough, live, live long enough, and you're like, and you talk to a lot to of women. I'm not trying to find out if that's the case. But and women will tell you. I think, I mean, a lot of it is like the internet too, because you see um, a different perspective on the internet um, of people. But um, and it also depends on like where you are, like opposed to like like somewhere like here opposed to miami or something is is drastically different so um i don't know in different age groups and stuff i think like obviously people are a product of their environment but i don't know like i i don't necessarily think that it's because i as far as like men that i've encountered anyway like i don't think that i it's been drastically like so you're pretty much saying you're meeting more like masculine men then like you, you're attracting masculine men. What, like physically, or like just like 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 well, like masculine. Their persona about them, the way they carry themselves, men that are. You I know. would say like I, I don't know I, I don't know what I attract. I haven't really. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you, you've had let me ask you. Let had me had ask you. Oh. Um, the last guy you've dated. Well, you said you've been single for two years, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, you're 24. Yeah. So you've been single when you were 22. Yeah. Um. And ladies, just no side. Con- yeah, good. I just <laughs> lost my train of thought. But um, okay. So your last guy that you dated, uh, what like was he masculine? Do you, a masculine? Okay, so he wasn't masculine. No. You answered that quick. <laughs> he wasn't gotcha. like uh, like super. I don't know. It wasn't like on the other end of the spectrum. But he yeah. also like emotionally and like I was very much like sugar mama and like just had to be like mommy in the relationship. But we okay. to be fair, like You're... I think a lot of that is just age too. I think like Can I how old was question? he? Well, we were the same age. We met when we were uh, like 18, 19. So. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, that's a good perspective. You're saying that like he was like young. So yeah. I think just generally. He, he needed more time to mature and stuff. Go yeah. ahead. My question. Are you a lover? Like, is that what you bring when you're in a relationship? Who are you asking yeah, that like, to? Her? Yeah, like, Maya. Like, like as far as um, d- like hookup stuff and like, like versus like. Do you feel like you're a nurturer? Like yeah. you love on your man. <clears throat> yeah, so, I feel like that is part of. So can I just say, yeah. you know, because we, I feel like we all said something in common. We are lovers. And, okay. And this is where I also wanted to say like us women play a major part. I cannot not say it. Because play a part in the in the beta mouse. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Finally, someone's speaking the truth. I have to, you know, like. But yeah, so I'll go and I'll, yeah. I'll make it very concise and give you some, you know, the facts and the truth about things. So I mean, uh, hard times create strong men. Strong men create soft uh, times, and soft times create soft men. So this is why we're living in a time right now where it's a lot of beta males panty boys walking around soy boys that don't have any backbone that's you know want to go 50 50 in a relationship and can't lead they're uh incongruent they don't have any they have a very uh they lack integrity um they lack assertiveness and dominance um and but but it does stream from feminism right so with the wave of feminism and women being in the uh you know just just being in the workforce um women are hypergamous right uh so think about it right so think about let's say uh 67 let's say 70 years ago right when women really wasn't working like that they were more home 
Hypergamous means that a woman wants a man on her level or above, preferably above her level, right? So back in the day, it's kind of easy to find a man above your level because you ain't really working. So you're looking for certain traits in a man, and as long as that man is working and inserting himself to a certain level, you kind of can admire him. You can look up to him, right? But now there's more women in the workforce, and women uh, are... I think, yeah, it's what, 60-40 or 55-50 in, in between colleges. You know, most women are graduating colleges and get, getting degrees. So that means that there's more competent women to a certain extent as far as competence, right? So with that being said, all right, cool. So yeah, in the workforce, you're making more money than a lot of guys and you have a higher education. Okay, so that means that if you want a man that's above you, most men don't meet that, right? So that's why you see a lot of soy boys and panty boys. Mm. Got it, right? So that that's really the factor. So this is why I'm saying it's it's feminism's fault. It's feminism's fault because without feminism and lady, you know, uh, uh, promoting women to be in the workforce, and I'm I'm not saying nothing is wrong with that, but this is one of the side effects of it. Mm -hmm. This is just a natural reaction to women working. You wanna. Be a uh, realtor. You want to be a digital creator. OnlyFans. I'm making more bread than some of these dudes. You know what I mean? Posting some thirst traps on OnlyFans. Well, guess what? Uh, to the average guy, it's going to be hard for him to measure up and, and, and to make that. Because women can take the easier route out by selling sexuality. That's one thing. Then they can take the hard way out, you know, by actually getting that ed education as well. But, yeah, truthfully, I think that's one of the reasons. Now, the other thing is, uh, y'all was making, y'all was talking about how, you know, uh, women, um, guys actually lack, uh, the, uh, the, the relationship with the mother. That's why they're soy boys. It's the complete opposite. They lack the relationship of their father because with the wave of feminism, what it, what it bred in society was single mother households. So now you got a lot of men being raised in a single mother household. So they have no father figure. They don't have that, uh, that masculine guidance around them to instill masculinity in them. So that's what they're lacking. They're not lacking any mothership guidance at all. At, you know what I'm saying? And if the reports even show that because a single father household does just as good as a two parent household. So that's what it's really lacking. So yeah, go ahead. So yeah. I just want to say, I hear you and I'm not disagreeing, but I'm just speaking from like experience and like, from conversations that I have from people in their situations, like there are a lot of single male homes. Like there's a lot of single fathers that really strive to want to raise their kids, whether, whether they have two or three, you know, children's mothers and they want to raise their kids together. So say they have three different kids from three different moms in their home, but now that home is lacking a woman. Yeah. So now when that man grows up, he doesn't know how to talk to women. He doesn't know how to, like, he's just, he's too much. And and to me, that that is somewhat of a problem that I'm seeing a lot today, too. You, so mean, not, you mean that who's too much? Okay, the man that was brought up in the home with just being around men, uh -huh. never really being around women, not talking around any women, not having any sisters. and You're saying that that's too much on the boy? No, it's too much. So when he's trying to enter the dating scene, yeah, he doesn't know how to communicate with women. He's yeah, no, that's not true. Through. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go like that. That's not how. That's not how men actually. That it doesn't work that way. It actually works the opposite way. So when a man is being raised, so I was raised in a single mother household, but I had three brothers. Okay. Three older brothers. I was the youngest one, and I had two sisters. Right. So I can give my anecdotal experience, but let me just speak in general. Right. When a man is raised around brothers or other siblings um, or in his father, like you're saying, that it's just all males in a home, that's a good thing. He's going to have as long as those men are good men, because it, it goes as far as the people that's raising you. If you don't have good people raising you, then, yeah, you're going to you're not going to be. So you and, and nothing is going to be instilled into you. That's good. So, yes, it's always exceptions to the rule. I, you're probably speaking of a, like a specific situation where you seen or experienced a male being raised by a lot of other men and they ended up maybe on drugs or selling drugs or just in the streets or doing g degenerate behavior or didn't really know how to convey themselves to a woman because those men were just weak. 
You know what I mean? I just feel like it's it's a it's an abundance. It's too many of them around it isn't, each other. Yeah, no, it isn't too many. Those are just the wrong men. I trust and believe. Men thrive being around other men because men are naturally we like to compete. And it's something about men, it's like this this bond that we have. Like, you know, when you're around your boys, you actually can it it you compete even more okay. um, when it comes to dating and relationships too. Like when I'm around my homies, we go out back in the day. We how many numbers can you get? Right. You know what I mean? Oh, you saying this? I said this. That's why I pulled her. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's a lot of competition back and forth. And then not only that, you got to think about even in the economy. Oh, you work in there? Okay, boom. Yo, help me get that job. Or yeah, I'm going to work there. So it's, men are always trying to compete. So I would say that... I see what you're saying in a, in a situation that can definitely happen, but that boy was just raised around the wrong type of men. Well, well bounce, yeah. to bounce off what you're saying, and we can go off the subject, but the the work or the workforce, yes, the comp, the it makes more sense to me now as far as the, when you say compete because women now making more money, it's it's making men like they're scared. It's like hold up, there these women are catching up to us, oh. you know, and they were using money to mm -hmm. bait women. Mm -hmm at a time right. now they can't now they have to have game now they have to be smart so it's like it's making them crawl, crawl into a shell yeah so i'm good yeah i wanted to add like you said it's it's who you surround yourself is vital right because you can even be in a household where it's mom and dad and they're married but if the mom is dominant and her or manipulative and the dad is a beta yeah you're gonna see and realize that you're gonna be one maybe afraid of women uh -huh. you're gonna not respect women and on top of that, you're going to also want that familiarity. Like, I want this woman to take care of me and protect and provide for me because that's mom and as should my, my, my woman. But I'm not going to do anything. And when they, 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 they try to push me or check me, then they resent you for that because you're basically doing what the mother didn't do. Wouldn't do. Exactly. Right. Um, and back with the whole thing with feminism, you're right. Sadly, I think there was a point when men went to war and their husbands died that women had to take care of their children because the country wasn't, you know. You built up properly. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that men nowadays, well, I don't even want to say men. I think that these guys nowadays see a woman that's got her stuff together and they think she's going to hold me down in the ride or die mentality. Those guys was the guys that was raised by in single mother households. Mm -hmm. So the guys that are comfortable, you said it, you said that, well, women are making more money than men now and, and men seem to feel like insecure, right? Basically. Men don't feel insecure at all. We, we are incapable of feeling insecure. Insecure means not, not confident. So we are incapable of feeling insecure to a woman because we are, we are, we're incapable of it because we're the head of the woman, God over man, man over woman, woman over children. Just that order itself, we're incapable of feeling insecure. Not only that, it's like you're smaller, you're weaker. It, it, it's just we don't compete with women when it comes to like finances. It just doesn't correlate in our even mind to compete like that when it when it comes to finances with a woman. The reason why I'll explain it to you another way. Let's say if would you feel insecure if a guy was trying to dress all pretty? He was taking longer than you to get dressed. You know what I mean? Like, say you take a half an hour. He was taking a good hour. You won't feel insecure, right? No. Because, hey, like, because you, you, you wouldn't like compete that. with the man's beauty. <sighs> right. But, but, look, let me make it sense to you. Let me all make it make sense to you. Women don't compete with the man's beauty. So it don't matter how, you know, you know, you don't care about his fashion sense. You don't care about how long he takes ready to get dressed that insecurity won't come up. You won't lose the, the sense of confidence within yourself by him being pretty because, one, he's the opposite sex, and you don't look for him being pretty, right? Same way with men. A woman working, well, you working doesn't make you look sexier. Like, to us, we're not more attracted to you by you working. You working, we don't really care about you working because even if I'm working and we're in a relationship, my money is your money and your money is your money. You know what I'm saying? So... There's really no insecurity, just like a woman looking at a man's fashion sense. You would never feel insecure. We would never feel insecure about a woman making money. Do you think it pisses off men seeing women make more money than them? No, because, but that's the same thing. Because Piss like, off insecurity, okay. it's all a lack of confidence. It's, it, it doesn't do anything. So what it does is, you interpret it, right? Because you out there, you could be making a bag. And you making a bag. When a woman makes money, you get the sense of independency. That's just what happens. You get this sense of independency. I'm not sure why it was. it's like this because 
God didn't even create it to like not that. All. But I, I'm not, not all, but eh, it's, it's in all. there. Not all may show it and, and, and push it to the forefront, but it is in there somehow. But usually I think it's, what I actually think it is, I just think it's a social construct. That's what I think it is. I think women were socially constructed to believe that if she's making the bag, she's independent. But when a man is making the bag, he never calls himself independent. Because when a man makes a bag, it's like, okay, he thinks about it in his mind. Oh, wow, well, I'm making this I'm making over a hundred K. Man, I can get a I can get a girl that's gonna follow my lead. I can create a family, stuff like this. When a woman is making a hundred K, she's like, Oh, forget this nigga, he only making fifty. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Some women. I think some women, yeah. Because <laughs> I, I think it's, I think and, it's. And well, well, you say some, but if, if you give it time, if you give it time, and if that man doesn't assert himself and do better, right, then it will be. You will become that woman because you're not going to be with a guy. You're not going to be at your most happiest with a guy if that guy isn't asserting himself and he's only making fifty thousand dollars a year, and you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year. It's not going to happen. The only way it happens is if you instill God into the picture. Because then if you instill God into the picture, then that's... Maybe marriage. Well, marriage, but God, actually God, yeah. like the belief of God, and you believe something higher than yourself. Because this is how it works, right? We all have our nature. A woman's nature is hypergamous. She looks for a man that's doing better than her. A man's nurture, a man's nature is po po polygamy, really. He wants quantity. He wants a lot of girls, right? So when it happens, when it comes in a relationship... We all know that men is only as faithful as their options. They'll continue to keep, you know, sleeping around until, you know, something has to restrict that nature. And a woman is always going to look for a man that's better than herself. Something has to restrict that nature. And I'm saying that the only thing that's restricting, the only thing that can restrict that nature is God. Like you have a higher belief in a, in a, in a, religion back, a, a religious backing behind your morality. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like, okay, yeah, like, I'm looking at him not only for what he could do for me. I'm looking at him like his true inside and I'm loving him for him. But we already know that women don't love a man for them. They love a man based off what he can provide. That is not true. No, what I'm saying, it's in your nature to love a man based off what he can provide. But if you instill God, then you won't look at the the the, the God. Your morality will supersede your nature. Mm. Well, yeah, that's me. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying right now in society, your morality ain't superseding your nature. And because the world is pretty much godless in America, you know what I'm saying? The world, not me. Well, I mean, America is pretty much godless. <laughs> so you get what I'm saying, but I'll land my plane there. Let's get to the super chats real quick. Mm -hmm. We got them piling up in here. Um, everyone on Facebook, I'm about to close down a Facebook stream. Uh, and I want y'all to come over to YouTube. We live on YouTube right now, No Fugazi Podcast on YouTube. Uh, oh, yeah, Facebook is lit right now. So, yeah, man, come on over to YouTube right now. We're closing out the stream. Um, that's No Fugazi, no Fugazi Podcast on YouTube. We are closing down Facebook right now. Yo, Steve, how was looking in the chat? Chat, Wallen? Yeah. Okay, you had to kick anybody <laughs> out yet? Hey, uh, we got my man Steve back here moderating the chat. So, chat. Be friendly, be nice to the girls. I don't know what y'all saying, which y'all probably wilding. <laughs> but uh, nah, I'm playing. Man, say whatever y'all want, man. It's <laughs> it's no fugazi. <laughs> uh, okay, let me get to the super chats real quick. Okay, dang, we got a lot piled up in here. Okay, uh, we have Holiday Tone sends in five dollars. Appreciate the support, man. You always in here rocking with us, man. Uh, Holiday Tone says, uh, f uh, "Feminine, w feminine men because of single mother households, there was no one to, uh, to instill, uh, to it still, to instill. I get what you're saying. To instill how to be a man. True. Also, women don't know what they want. True. Women, and generally <laughs> Can speaking, I say this? Can I say this really quick? Go ahead." Like, as far, like, I just need men to want to understand that women, we don't try to not be nurturing. We are, like, a lot of us have, we just have to survive. But we want to be loved on. Not saying you have to take our shit, but it's like, if you take the time to want to get to know us, all we want is just to be, we, we just want to love We're on soft. you guys. Yeah, yeah and, you think that. That's not what you, you women say one thing, oh. but they want another thing. You don't, you don't. He's really can trying I, to make me I, something that I'm not. I don't like that. No, oh. no, not you. I'm speaking oh. in general. Oh, okay. Well, you, may, you may actually, you 34, you may be to the point where you're looking for other traits in a man. That's totally fine. Okay. But in generally speaking, you saying that, you know, women, we just want to be loved on and da-da-da. 
yeah, but you you want to be loved on, but a man still has to meet a certain metric for you to even want to be loved, <laughs> you know, want to be loved by him. I can only speak for myself. And, and, that, and, and that could be true, but that metric, so you 6'1", right? Yeah. Okay, look, she tall over here, right? Would you date a short guy? Yes. You Okay, you'll date a short guy. You want to be when loved. You was, when you was 22, would you date short guys? Yeah. Okay, you was dating short guys. Okay. But don't say it like I was dating. Like I was, I was how, trying how, to how short? 40. How short? Five six. Five six. Oh, five, we went to five six. Oh, okay, all right. Well, she <laughs> she just wants to be loved. She you understand? Well, at, at the end of the day. <laughs> Her nature is the one a dude that's taller, but she is going besides the nature. But that could be another thing we could speak about too. Oh um, anyways, what do you uh, think about women that have been abused or bullied as a kid that want to just be loved and accepted? And so we accept whatever yeah. love we think we deserve, and therefore we're attracting these men that take advantage of a kind heart when all we want to do is support you to achieve your goals and in process reciprocate the love we give you. That yeah. all, I, like that's literally the message I want him to. No, put no, that's out. what you just said. Yeah, and because I'm that woman, no, no. I'm the woman that that's that's literally, I have, and I realize this now through therapy that I literally wanted to fix men and heal men, but that's not my job, and I get that. Yeah, but but this is what I'm saying. Y'all looking at it from a y'all looking, you are assuming the attraction and everything here's i'm starting from the beginning you already talking about here you saying like i just want to feel loved and be loved and meet a man that's going to love me that's here <laughs> men start all the way over here <laughs> right so you have a certain type of man maybe he got to meet a height preference maybe he got to meet an income preference maybe he has to meet a charisma preference you know what i'm saying he has to be charming maybe he has to be masculine like he you said you don't like, like let me finish real quick. Like you said, you don't like beta boys. Maybe he has to, you know, be assertive, dominant, That's masculine type of man. That's because I'm tired of the betas. Got you. But <laughs> this is what I'm saying. He has to meet all of these metrics, mm -hmm. right? And all of these metrics that a man meets, women just think that women tend to, like, wait at the finish line and, like, smash the winners. No, men go through a race to become the man that they are. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm six foot four. I'm doing well in life. Life is good. I wasn't like this when I was 22. Mm -hmm. You would have met me when I was 22. You'd be like, this dude's like a 140 pounds. He's scrawny. He has no beard. He's broke. Who is this guy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would have dated you. I no, did. No, no, I, 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 I did I, date a guy like you. I mean, yeah. I mean, I was still pulling them back then. I'm not saying that I wasn't pulling them, but it's just. It's I'm talking just about broke as broke, well. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, you may have dated them. This is what I'm saying. You may go for those guys. This is what I'm saying. Women tend to say one thing, but they choose another thing. So even though you say you want a man that's just going to love on you and stuff like that, guess what? I know some broke dudes that's going to love on y'all, be faithful, never cheat, cheat on y'all, but they got no uh, assertiveness. They got no masculinity. They in their mom's basement eating Cheetos, really not doing nothing, but they're going to love you. So you start in here, right? <laughs> you start here like, oh, they're going to love you. But you don't really just want love. You saying that you just want that? No, you want all of these qualities. So now this is the thing. You want all of these qualities in a man? Now when that man actually becomes a valuable man, he don't got time to be up your butt loving you how that loser would be. That's he got true. work to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is he going to be doing loving you at the, you know, at the crib all day watching Netflix and freaking girl shows? You don't want to do that mess. So it's like, y'all say one thing, but well, it don't really work out. No, you're right. Because as a, as a young girl, that was my mentality. I just yeah. want someone to love me. But then you start taking care of all the bills. You start doing all the, the, the you're, you're carrying, you, you start straying away from your natural innate, which is to be feminine and in that energy. But now you become masculine because now you're doing all this stuff and you re then in turn resent them. And so I've grown out of the phase where I want them to just love me. Now I'm like, OK, are you stable? Are you happy with yourself? I don't really care how much you make. I just know. Are you good? Yeah. Are you financially good? Are you spiritually well? Are you, are you mentally sound? Because I'm doing the work, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what I want. But I'm a woman now. And that takes experience. Like, I'm 39. I'll be 40 in September. So I don't got time anymore to, yeah. to, to, to try to build a man up. You got to you gotta go ahead and get that thing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, yeah, you don't have no time to build a man up. Since right. you don't got no time to build a man up, that means you got to take a man that's already built. Right. And a man that's already built, what I'm saying is... That pussy got to be for Clarence, 39. <laughs> oh, my God. It got to be for Clarence, 39. Explain that. You look explain super that. young, though. I'm going to give I you do. that. I do. I take you, that care of yeah, myself. You look like 
you're in your 20s. Thank you. So that's a good thing. I tried cutting my I cut my hair to make to look more mature. Yeah, yeah. Because when it's long, Chat in person, she act, I don't know how she look on camera, but in person, let she me look, see how do I look on camera. She she looks super. I would say actually on camera you probably look a little bit older, oh, yeah. but in person she actually looks a little bit young. But anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Uh, Mama Sita, you're 39, mm -hmm. and you want that masculine man? Do you want that that man that's already built? I want a husband. Okay, when you meet that man, you you know what I mean. You got it, huh? So the pom pom is yours, Papi. Take it. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Papi. You're so sure. I do anything you want, Papi. You want me to cook and clean? I cook and clean rice oh, and beans. And I do it all, Papi. I was doing that already for You're somebody who didn't it? pay rent. Yes, I was doing okay, breakfast, so lunch, you and dinner. Okay, so capable of doing it. Oh, I'm very, I'm multifaceted. Hey, chat, slide in the DMs, me? man. I'm multifaceted. She's... Are you kidding me? Look, slide in the DMs, man. Uh, breakfast, okay. lunch, and dinner. Never repeat the same breakfast the next day. Never repeat the oh, same. It was always different. I was I forgot of, one thing. Now. I'm a chef. I, got a I forgot. A hard, this here's the cold hard truth. Mm. I got to give it to what you. Happened? Here's the cold hard truth. All right, don't tell um, me. So don't tear up. Oh, God. Are you gonna, I already know where it's going. Don't tear up. I'm scared. So this is the thing, right? 39, you look young. You got no kids, right? No kids. Okay, cool. And They're frozen. My eggs are frozen. Okay, you got them frozen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you actually froze the eggs. Okay, yep. so you took the initiative. All right, you took initiative to go out there and do the, do some steps. Okay. Not not predicting that I'd be single. I was in a relationship. Yeah, while yeah. Doing you this. were just doing it because you're looking forward to the future because you don't really know how things could go. With this guy. Right? Got you. Got you. Okay. So you look young. Good. So that means that you you got the you got the the beauty part. The youth. Most guys, youth, youth is the reason why we like youth is like, it's like, it's just some about, it goes with birth, but you froze the eggs. Okay, cool. You got the eggs frozen. All right. It's, some men be like, ah, I don't really know about that. But can you still get pregnant? Yes. Okay. Okay. Last cool, I cool. checked in December. Got you. Got you. Still going to be high risk pregnancy though. <laughs> yes. Because men are tactical creatures. <laughs> we are strategic in the things that we do when we look for men, especially the high value dudes, because they got this way. They earn money by being this way, like me. I'm Can I surprise you with one information that you probably don't know as a sure. man? Where do you put your cell phone mostly? My what? Your cell phone. In, in your front pocket? Uh, or in your lower, whatever. It's in your pocket, right? Sometimes, or in my jacket which is, or something. Which is close to your groin. So a oh, lot yeah, of, I know so, about so that. You can't be so having... A lot of, so a lot of infertility issues are now coming not... From, it's coming from men and from their men. low count. And their sperm mobility. Sperm mobility. So yeah. I learned this from a few male doctors that were doing my egg fr uh, freezing journey. And yeah, they told yeah, me, I heard. They about were they that, were like, yeah. "Honey, you can get pregnant, and mm -hmm. honestly, you could be seventy five years old and carry a baby." You know. Also, it's from um, the, the plastics right. and, and all the drinks right. and stuff. What but, is it called? But phthalates. They, but they it? said, mm -hmm. yeah, something like that. Ph I think yeah. it's called phthalates or something like that. Anyways, let me yeah. get back to where so I was going. That. So, so that's that's the current issue now that we're dealing with with cell phones apps, computers, on our yeah. laptops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, let me get back freeze to where your, I was going. Hold sperm. on to your seat because it's going to get a little rocky. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on like this, right? You ready? Okay. All right, cool. So, you, like I said, you go, okay, look young, got it. Froze the eggs, okay, cool. You know, men, okay, got it. It's like, ah. The other thing is OnlyFans. I knew you were going to say that. So, OnlyFans is one of the things where it's like, okay, what you don't, I don't think you're going to tell us what you're doing. Well, if you want to promote it, you can. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what you doing on there? Who you doing it with? Stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You are selling your sexuality to a top tier of men, the type of men that you want. Now, I'm not saying it's different types of top tier men, right? You got men that make money, but they're simpish in the mind. Mm -hmm. And those men, you could run laps around and they don't truly know their value. So you're not really going to respect them long term. Yeah, I don't want that. You may, they may attract you by pulling up in a nice whip. They may attract you by, you know, maybe saying the right thing at the right moment. Or you just may smell the money on them. Mm -hmm. Long term ain't going to work because they beta in the mind. Mm -hmm. Got yeah, it. Okay. So uh, you got those type of males. They don't understand any value. But the men that actually understand their value and understand women, right, um, and they're good with women, these men look for certain types of characteristic traits in a woman. They look for a virtuous woman, mm -hmm. right? And the OnlyFans would disqualify you from a huge majority of those men. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not, I'm saying you'll still attract them. You'll attract them. Here's the thing that's, that's what's going to, how life is going to play. I don't know the future, but, and, but I'm giving you a game right now. Kind of take it, right? Mm -hmm. So it can go really two ways. You're going to meet men. 
of high status, which I'm sure you've already been meeting. No, I haven't. You haven't no. been attracted to them? Okay, well. I, I don't go out. I go to church. You know, I read oh, the Bible. I pray to God. Listen, I have a conversation with God every day. He knows what I'm doing. But then you it. still throw the OnlyFans out there like, oh, God, well, my booty. <laughs> well, well, can I explain that uh, no, real go quick, ahead, go briefly? Ahead, go ahead. So I came from a time where magazines were a glorified thing. and a thing. It wasn't. True, it was yeah, No, Maximum FHM, Black Man Magazine. Okay. Like, it didn't yeah, have true, to be true. nude. I don't do nudity. I don't do nudity. Oh, I, so, okay. so basically what I do is the same stuff I did when it was printed. I was on the cover of Maximum Español. You know, I was on the cover on Oya magazine that Eva Longoria was on, Sofia yeah. Vergada, Salma Hayek. I was on billboards with, you know, I was the face of Nelly's Apple Bottle. Okay. So I came from a time where magazines... So he was really a top model. I was, yeah, until gotcha. I became a victim of domestic violence and I lost it all. But the thing is, the type of content that I curate there is the same. It's, it's just the same. as opposed to Maximum paying me 5K for a photo shoot that they were probably making bank on you all these girls in a magazine. Only fans. Yeah. Got so it. you don't see why do you, why do you scroll through my, my my Instagram and you don't see me in a bikini, you don't see okay. my ass, it's okay. Pull up the Instagram. <laughs> Pull up the Instagram. You know, oh, you know, no. like 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 you don't see me working out. You know, yeah. like provocatively, like you don't see like you. But I do have a digital. To me, I made it into a business. Steve, help him out. It's on the um. It's on a <laughs> it's on the page going to DMs. It's it'll be the second DM. Oh, uh, the chat just gonna see it. I don't think I think I seen your yeah I seen your Instagram. And I'm also was, a recording artist. So as an artist, you know we dress up and like look look at the Jennifer Lopez, look at the Beyonces, look at the Shakiras, look at the you know look at Tina Turner. Always yeah. wearing short short. You're a performer. You're an entertainer. Yes, sadly sex sells. But at the end of the day, I could be wearing this and somebody could be undressing me right now with their eyes and I have no control. Well, of that's that. what normally happens. You know what I'm guys. saying? Yeah, you so guys yes. don't need much so yeah we so, know that so i have my real estate license just got that it's hard it's the same thing as an entrepreneurship yeah we are all entrepreneurs here in some respect so look here's let me just finish my statement right y'all pulling that up all right why are they pulling it up i keep talking okay. so uh but and i think you've already you seem like you you realized that already yeah like okay and i'm sure you probably like thought about like okay cool i'm gonna make only fans i want this type of man but i know this right here would disqualify me from some type of men what i'm saying is it's going to be hard for you to discern mm -hmm. so discernment is good judgment right mm -hmm. so it's going to be harder for you to make good judgment in men based off of the only fans because guess what men they want the cookie so th their job is to lie and do the you know put on the their best face just like women mm -hmm. too but they want to get the cookie so they may sell a dream right you may get a dream so like dang this guy's prince charming he's the vibes we go out on dates he's taking me trips we're doing things he's smashing but then year go by two years ago by but you never get elevated to commitment you never get elevated to wifey level you never get elevated to all of these things and then you could be wondering why five years talking to the dude like okay he never truly committed to me uh why well the only fans like men when it comes to purity in a woman it's like it's equivalent purity to a man like when a man looks at a woman purity is equivalent to how a woman looks at a man's masculinity just like how you said like you don't like where's the world going with these beta boys like you can't get over it it's like that equivalent right purity masculine because women want security and masculine men give security mm -hmm. all right you, you got her uh instagram up or you went through oh chat oh, okay okay chat Chat saying, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Okay, because it didn't pop up on here. Okay, no worries. We didn't even get that done yet. No. Um, Good talk. You took it like a champ, but it's, you're mature, so I'm sure you heard all of this before. No, I thought about it myself. I mean, this is yeah. something I don't see myself doing, but for maybe for another two years. But I take care of my mother, my father, family. Yeah, you're chilling. So. I'm, I'm, I can't say I'm banking the way some girls do, and I don't, I don't judge people. Do what you got to do. Yeah. You know? I'm doing it enough to be able to support my dreams, my future business endeavors that I have. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't want to be doing it. But it was my therapist that told me during the pandemic, "Hey, why don't the, you create an OF?" Listen, man, <laughs> that's why y'all shouldn't go to therapy. Actually, listen to this: Don't go to therapy. Click the link in my uh, in the description. I do one on one coaching. Get your therapy through me. I do couples coaching, relationship coaching. I do marketing and media. This has only been a year, man, and we hit over a hundred followers on all platform so we lit right now um other than that let me get to these super chats real quick uh we got tony barnett he sends in five dollars he says the one thing i didn't hear any of you mention the father and a father's role or lack 
the father or lack thereof in a nuclear family in raising that boy to be a man. Facts, Tony. Yeah, they didn't really mention the father part, but then I did mention that to him, and there's like, yeah, understand. She did mention it actually. She mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. She father. one of them mentioned it at towards the end. Yep. Um, we have real dude uprising. He sends in ten dollars. Is she refusing to say it? Peter Pan's exist because they lack an example of model of manhood. They don't see it growing up, and moms are unable uh, unable to be the example. They do, but know what they have not seen. Okay, they do, but they know what they have not seen. True, facts. Um, Bad Bassett, hey, man, you back, bro, sends in $10. He says, sound like you guys are choosing wrong men. Yeah, don't start choosing correctly till something dramatic happens or you get pregnant. Ooh. That is fact. <laughs> uh, that is type facts. You don't, and I mean, it's kind of like a fact now. Like women tend to say like men mature, um, like women mature faster. Yeah, that's not really the case. I could say socially, yeah, but the only reason why women mature socially faster is because women receive more attention from the same sex and the opposite sex. So they're they're they know how to for an example, you, right? You're 24 years old. I think you're the youngest on the panel. Like, guys been probably coming up to you trying to hit on you since you was like 13. So you've been already like dodging the weird ones and, you know, know <laughs> to talk to the right ones. You know what I'm saying? Right? Like, even when she came here, uh, she you said that you pulled up in a parking lot and it seemed a little sketch. Yeah. So you sent your, uh, your location <laughs> to one of your friends. Yeah. Because we got a huge parking lot. <laughs> it it's started, a building. <laughs> where, where my office is, it's a building, right? He, big building, but it's a huge parking lot and it's just empty so she's like a yeah, sketch let me send that location so the think of why you did that because you're very you're aware of things it's like ah oh, yeah this not is a little weird snatched, not yeah. trying to get snatched up so but women tend to confuse that social maturity with actually being mature mm -hmm. no the thing is that y'all not actually mature because y'all always choosing the wrong <laughs> y'all looking for the wrong things in a male yeah, prioritize. You're only loyal to your emotions, so you prioritize your emotions and your feelings first. So when a dude that's broke, but he's nice with his talk game, he can convey himself good. Maybe he got a little bit of status on a football team in college or something like that. You get all rizzed up. You're like, oh, um, Chad, yeah, <laughs> but Chad sorry. just wanted to smash and dash. So it's like, how mature <laughs> are you if you couldn't even see the signs that Chad just wanted to smash? Then you women say they got all this womanly intuitions. <laughs> well, how much good? How good is your intuitions if Chad is smashing, Byron is smashing? Anyways, man, I'm oh. wowing right now. <laughs> but let's get back to the chats. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, smash. <laughs> we can we ask the chat a question? Can I ask the chat a question? Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, uh, I, I'm not gonna, we got a lot of them. I'm gonna just get to a couple more because they're gonna be piling up and okay, I don't wanna keep okay, reading them. Okay. And then, um, I'm going to get y'all involved because y'all wasn't involved. It was like us three going back. <laughs> y'all going to speak. We Don't gonna worry. Speak. Um, the Tick sends him $5. He says, uh, spicy Q for the OF woman. What is the limit you won't cross for money? Golden shower being three, <laughs> being sh on in Dubai, for example, or having a gangbang, maybe. Uh, so that's a good question for both the OnlyFans girls. Let's get you involved <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Involved. What the hell? That's a yeah. fantasy question. <laughs> yeah, so, He's like, well, no, he pay. says, what? no, he says, what's your limit? To, so oh, what's oh. your limit for amount of money? So this is a good one. Let's say if. Because we got the OnlyFans girls. Let's have some fun, right? Okay. And this is just all what if. Because this may not ever happen. It's don't, you know. Theoretically. Just, yeah, let's, let's kind of be realistic for for an extent. If it does happen. Mm -hmm. Let's say if a guy, um, uh, you know, he's like, hey, I'll pay you. Because um, OnlyFans is different. Like, guys kind of request things, mm -hmm. right? They can. Like they message. can request things. Message. Yeah. So he's like, listen, I'll give you 10 racks if you... Uh, uh, throw three bananas in your vagina at the same time. It's not happening. Okay, got it. Next one. <laughs> I'll give you ten racks if you do uh, one banana vagina, other one anal. Ten racks. No. Final offer. Here's the final I, offer. Okay. Final offer. This may be good. Don't <laughs> Is you don't. This you personally? Or? I'm thinking of things for the chat. The chat came okay. up with it. I'm thinking Great. of things. Am I doing good, right. Steve? So far, so good. Okay. Great. So far, so good. This <laughs> sounds like it came from some like. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna boost it up. Here it goes. Final <laughs> offer. Right. This is like deal or no deal right now. Final offer. Right. Oh, we're on that show. Okay. okay. Seventy-five thousand of them. Thanks. Okay. 
Banana and a Toto? Banana and a Buto? No. You won't do it for 75K? No. Okay, dang. I think it's so hard for men to conceptualize that because you're not the woman. Um, it's just I, a I, video. I, 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 no, I, I it's think not it's just going a video. to him. It ain't going to everybody. I think that there. I mean, there is. It depends on the person. Because yeah, I mean, it say. seems like we kind of have this yeah. a similar like mindset when it comes to OnlyFans. But uh, like a, a lot of people have different limits and yeah. stuff. So that's just mm-hmm. personal. That's okay. personal okay. preference. Because I've turned down. I've turned down 50k you for down someone 50? to just see my kitty, and I have not ever taken it. They did. They have. Okay, it. let's get to that. Right. So just for the kitty cat. Right. Yeah. So now we're gonna get to you. To see the kitty. If dudes on OF want to see the cat, meow. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Yeah, do the part. Uh, If dudes on OF want to see the cat, let's just do final offer. Deal or no deal? For what? 250,000 of them things. So. You better think. I am thinking. I am thinking. For me. I know that I could be making a whole lot more than what I'm making uh-huh. by showing off the girls, by showing off the kitty. I could be making a lot of money. But the thing is, which one you choosing? Per- but me personally, I got to live with that forever. And I don't know. I, I talked to, like I said, I talked to God. Do I was, a yes or no? No. It'd oh. be a no. It would be a no. Why it, would be- the fuck you <laughs> it wouldn't be a no. <laughs> No. You got for a quarter million dollars? For that? No. Because that goes everywhere. A quarter? Do you know how many people yeah. have pretended oh to me? She's got a point. With, yeah. Like, because okay. if it I turned down Playboy. Too. I turned Playboy turned to be on the Playboy. cover of Playboy magazine when it was in its biggest moment. That is moment. right. You've been, you've been popping. So I turned yeah, it down. You, I turned it down. Her social media <laughs> been popping, so you, I'm sure you have some big offers. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Can, um, I, can I say something? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I am not going to lie. I'm a woman. I thought about OnlyFans, but I told myself... I can't be turning down stuff like that. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it all the way. <laughs> so I didn't never make it. Like Dude, I never made it. And that's your limit, right? For me, it was like, all right, I can bring back Justenia Vice, nah, which was the video vixen, which was the glam pinup model, and give that to them because that's what they that's what they remember and that's what they log in for and that's the content they get. You right? You but know? When you just hear OnlyFans. I don't. You got people that show their feet. You have I show my feet. Doing, I got people yeah. that pay for a lot of like, yeah. Honestly, when you hear the word OnlyFans, yeah, automatically you're just thinking some crazy shit. So I told myself, if I'm not doing whatever for the dollar on that, because that's what that platform is for. Well, it's I'm not. not. I could correct you. It. It's not. Originally, the creator made it for people that are yeah, personalities, like for their fans to subscribe. Entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs and stuff. Entrepreneurs, yeah. right. Podcasts, cooks, makeup and artists. And like, turned into that. And during the pandemic, it became that, because really? why? Strip clubs closed down, pandemic. So you had strippers doing their stuff with their husbands, with their, yeah. with, their, with, their, with their boyfriends, with their girlfriends. That stigma only and that's why when i was told it i was like i don't i told him like i'm not a porn star i told my therapist she's like it doesn't have to be that she was like you were a video vixen that got paid to be in 50 cent how much 10, it, gra- 10 grand just to be the in the video is, it's like it comes with the stigma it though, does right? have that's a stigma what that's what it i'm does. saying like if i that's all i'm saying like and i got if kids gonna, like if i'm gonna create that i might as well just go all the way so i just well I no because i'm using the platform for what it was worth i'm bringing back digital magazine i mean print magazine into a digital form so they're getting professional photos like i have all female staff you know they're getting great content hey, and then chat, get, hey, you want to subscribe to the only fans real quick and yeah. just oh, to see real God. quick just to let us You'll, know you no. won't see you won't, you won't see <laughs> okay, nothing no please. you won't see nothing on the on the feed you have to pay for that sorry on, yes on there's the a subscription yeah. but you don't oh, you, know, you ain't gonna see nothing on the feed you ain't gonna see nothing on the feed because um, it's a bit because I'm not selling because I'm not doing pornographic stuff I'm not gonna put it on the feed but there's a okay. choice there's a choice in life that platform you can make money if you're a makeup artist and you wanted to use OnlyFans fuck the stigma you're gonna create an OnlyFans and do makeup I'm gonna and get paid a website. you know what I'm saying I'm gonna create a website forget <laughs> oh, the only app. no for real because just yeah, that word app. OnlyFans yeah it do got that stigma I see what y'all saying well, now. Yeah. well and, a website costs a lot of money and then not trying to be funny for me i have kids mm-hmm. and my kids be on the internet so i'm not gonna just you know what i mean for example you know? i get invited to go to disney red carpets you know why they must do their homework and be like all right this is all right why are we walling out we see cardi b we see beyonce we see all these people half naked you're not seeing nothing different yeah. now again porn stars are people too you got to respect the individual you can't treat them no better no different than someone else just because they're a dancer in real life or they're a porn star in real life i know but you we on here but i'm here but i'm here getting invited by marvel walking the red carpet you know what i'm talking about so yeah no i see what you're saying so it's like uh i get what you're saying so you're saying like you know we can't the stigma is always gonna stay but if you're gonna get to know me get to know me 
Yeah, I see. But let me give you an example, right? Because I, I do agree. I 100% agree. But unfortunately, that's just not how the world operates. I'll make it make sense to you by using black culture, right? So um, if, I, if I'm walking in a mall with a hoodie on, or just not even in the mall, if you see me walking behind you with a hoodie on down the street, you automatically going to be like, oh, well, you're going to look a certain type of way. Going to maybe hold your, surely white girls, you, you definitely going to tuck your purse a little tighter. Gen maybe not you, but generally speaking, <laughs> uh, you know, women and, and even other men going to be like, ah, because the stigma of, you know, men gang banging and stealing and doing little things, right? Doing degenerate behavior. So even as myself, if I'm wearing a hoodie or I'm sagging my pants, it's a stigma on me that maybe I may be selling drugs or be a gang banger, right? So what I'm saying is the stigma on, but I'm not. Right. I'm not. But it's the, still that stigma when I dress like that. Mm -hmm. But on your end, maybe you not showing your booty hole, but you got <laughs> only fans. And there's so a stigma behind it. Right. What we all thinking is we want to see that booty. Oh, <laughs> that booty oh. Do, 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 do. No, I'm playing so my fan base there <laughs> are from my audience that want to get to know me, want to build that fan relationship yeah. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. now if it's flirty it's flirty if it gets you know yeah hot yeah, you steamy, can, you can get hot yeah steamy, say uh you know, no judgment yeah say yeah. what you guys say then i'm gonna get to the super chats go ahead yes any mm -hmm. all i'm saying sister mm -hmm. to sister you said you want to be married so a man like you talking to a man and you trying to get to know them the first thing they hear when they hear of it's like you know what i mean they're not well, they're just like, wah, wah, wah. Well, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, so that's that's just all I'm... I, I hear you. You want to get somebody in that space that understands you. What I'm saying is just that. Just Well, my last relationship, I was... I'm very transparent with everything, you know? Um, but they were very supportive of it, and they didn't care. They didn't care. But that also then makes me think... Did they you just lying. Care? Right, no, no, my whole yeah. thing... No, my whole thing, did you care because... You, you did not care because you were living off of me for free because I was that's taking why, care of you? That's why, because they the, only the, Right, right, there's like a limitation. You were yeah, correct with that. Only the so, beta guys. Right. Only the guys that has no right. masculinity, the guys that does not right. assert themselves, the guys that are panty boys, like we were talking about in the beginning of the podcast, mm -hmm. will accept it, right? The them. other guys will... Uh, they'll just withhold the truth from you and put you in sex zone only mm -hmm. like women got guy friends right and y'all put guys in friend zone mm -hmm. all the time and it isn't like you think that they're a bad person you think that they're actually nice and you know it's good conversations and you may maybe when you meet up with them he's like fine he's charming everything is good you don't look at him as sexual it's only like friend mm -hmm. right, right? And, but but and uh, you don't even maybe even let it be known. Like, it's kind of just like organic. Like, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't have to put it in the forefront. And that's how it is with guys when like, the thing is, guys disqualify girls from a relationship silently. You'll never know because they'll keep you in a friend zone. Women tend to disqualify men from sex loudly because they're not getting any box mm -hmm. so it's like oh damn i've been doing this with her i still didn't get box i've been doing this it's like loud we hear it all the time we mm -hmm. feel it right but you don't feel the rejection because he clapping them cheeks and still taking you out to dinner but you <laughs> never get commitment well, I haven't had sex in a, uh, in a while. Oh, well, no, I'm not, I'm not speaking about I'm speaking in. <laughs> and one thing, girls, when I speak, I tend to speak in, uh, real quick, I'll give you some game. I, I tend to speak in generality. Yeah. So really don't take anything that I'm saying personally, even when we like talking about the OnlyFans or touchy topics. If you want, in certain things, you could take it personal. But in other ways, it's like we kind of speaking in general. Mm -hmm. But let me get to the super chats and then we got to get some, some questions because we've just been kind of freestyling which is cool which is cool <laughs> uh we got bad bassett since in ten dollars he says y'all also mistake sexual attention for real attention that's a fact mm -hmm. uh y'all but go ahead <laughs> he's speaking in general uh <laughs> queen lala we know you over here you dating dude you 610 and you dating a dude that's five six <laughs> she is she she uh definitely not prioritizing her nature dog you she asked me that about years ago <laughs> cut it out <laughs> uh queen lala sends in two dollars okay we got a girl in the chat okay Yay, lala, okay, lala. Wait, queen lala you was in here before so i appreciate you appreciate the support yeah. uh do you women even believe in having morals well, I, th I think she. I think she just came in at the end. Um, no, I do believe in morals. I have plenty okay. of morals. Mm -hmm. Morals, yes. Mm 
Yeah. She like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Wait, what's everybody... your name again? I forgot your name. Maya. My, I'm bad with names, so it's, it's not. I'm also bad with yeah, it's names, not so. me. It's just. You're good. No, no, it's not you. It's actually me. Um, <laughs> no, truthfully, it is. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, we got Bad Bassett sends in five dollars again. Appreciate your support, bro. Uh, he says, and to the girl with all that green on, you. Oh. Um, is your stocks green too? Just wondering. Oh my god! On it. Oh, he said, "Is your socks green?" Oh, Are my socks green? No, they're black. <laughs> P- uh, put the boot socks. up. Put put it up so they see it in the camera. Put your foot up. My... Start your OF now. Okay. Feet. Go ahead. <laughs> I was about to say not for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said, yeah, my don't... socks up on my shoes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't give it away for free, girl. We got beat beat in cheeks too. Sends in ten dollars. <laughs> Women say they want a good man, but sleep with Chad. <laughs> Or Ron, uh, yeah, that is facts. They sleep with. Uh, who's Chad? No, who's Chad? I was about to say who's Chad. Ron. It's, it's like it's attractive, in, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah attractive guys. Uh, Real dude up rising sends him five dollars. He says the checklist for women is uh, dy- dynamically shorter than for men. Women have a blueprint that uh, women have a blueprint that they will abandon for the right feelings. Uh, no, uh, that's. I, that last part you said are, is correct. Mm. Um, women do have a blueprint uh, of men that they will abandon for their feelings. That is true. But when it comes no. to um, the checklist for a woman, uh, no, no, bro. <laughs> men are very simple creatures. Like, if we don't, when when it comes, we got two checklists. We have a checklist for uh, sex and we have a checklist for relationships. Our checklist for relationships, short. Hot and available, or not even hot. If it's a late Saturday night, we'll take a two. Mm-mm. And generally That's speaking, true. not me, but you know, no generally men. <laughs> they'll knock down a they'll knock down a zebra uh, oh if uh, if they if they dry and they ain't getting them for a while. Ooh, ooh. But when it comes to a relationship, <laughs> it's a little different. Um, men do have a little bit. It's then when it comes to a relationship, it's the type of men. The beta dudes, they'll take a chick that's selling booty. They'll take a chick that's, you know, screaming at them at Walmart. They'll take a chick that has an attitude and stuff like that. The masculine men, I would say, yes, they have a longer checklist than um, than most men. I still don't even think it's longer than women. Still don't even think it's longer because it still takes less. Like, we don't really need women don't have to meet a whole lot of things just for us to be attracted to them. And then it's not even a whole lot of things that they got to meet for us to wife them is just be compliant. Like, it's very simple. Beautiful, submissive, and be compliant. Follow my lead. That's all you got to be, and is we're good. But for a woman, you got to be tall, attractive. You got to have this in order. You got to have that. You got to have 401k from your job. You got to have invest in some stocks. got to have some crypto going on. So you got to have mass scary. security. Uh, and then not only that, they slaves to their emotions. So you got to be charismatic, and not even just regularly charismatic. You got to be, like, charismatic with, like, the timing got to be on point with your charisma. So yeah, I don't even know about this because y'all women, be, but men, I coach men for a living. So what trust you, me, I know. I coach mean? them all the time. Oh, what do you um, mean by compliant though? Compliant? <laughs> yeah. Is my way or the highway? But in Who what, like, that? in what context? Though? Every context. Oh, I wanna uh, 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 can I eat? No, you're not eating right now. Go cook me a sandwich. Then you. No, I'm playing. <laughs> oh, well. I'm joking. That was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> But by compliance, we mean, um, so it's like this, right? Let me give it some context when I mean by compliant. When we meet a woman, when a man meets a woman, the world molded her, her job molded her, her ex-boyfriends molded her, and her friends molded her, and her experience all molded her worldview and her thinking, right? So when we get with a woman, if she's been molded by all of these things, when we meet that woman, it's a lot of deprogramming we have to do for her to follow our lead, right? To her to actually be submissive. Like financially now it can, or like no, uh, mentally. Just, just mentally really to trust, to trust yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. That's a little toxic. Well, though. it's not really to trust it. It's it's for the woman to. It comes naturally when a woman really meets a masculine man and a man that she likes. It will right. come naturally, right? But still, that man you're forgetting that that man had to become that. Women are women just are. You just are. So, like, women 
are born with their value, meaning like sexual value, you just, all y'all was, you just born attractive. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that most men would find you attractive. And I mean, if you ain't out here doing nothing too crazy, most men will wipe you up. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it is what it is. But as a woman, I mean, as a man, it doesn't work like that. We have to earn our value. So we have to get out there and work to become a valuable man. So since we have to work to become a valuable man, it's like, okay, I had to work for this. You were just born like this. When even though you had all these past traumas and stuff, when you meet me, yeah, if I'm a masculine man, yeah, it would just come around and you would start following that man's lead. But still, he had to earn that, is what I'm saying, for you to follow his mm. lead. You get okay. what I'm saying? So the compliance kind of comes. But if the woman is too damp, like if it's a broken woman, she can't comply to anybody. She won't even comply to herself. Mm. She's for the streets mm -hmm. if it's a broken woman. If. If it's a broken woman, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so compliance is just like... Uh, uh, if because you got y'all all want a leader, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, if you want a leader, you complying. Yeah. Like if you actually get what you want, you are complying. That's true. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it's not a bad <laughs> there thing. There's nothing to be ashamed of that. <laughs> no, like, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's not that a bad thing. True. It's kind of just like you know, kind of getting what you want. Uh, but good question though. Uh, any other questions before I get to the chats, or all right, I'll finish up with these chats then. Uh, we got. We got Queen Lala sends in uh, two dollars. Thank you for the, for your support. She says she canceling her OnlyFans for a forty k man. Okay, um, you you y'all canceling y'all OnlyFans for a man like that makes forty k? Yeah. Um, it well right now. I mean, I guess I'm twenty four, so forty k is like enough it's for like like one person. I feel like to sustain themselves. Okay. So, I mean, I. I wouldn't mind like if it's the right person. I honestly, yeah. I, if it's the right person, I wouldn't mind. It's it's forty k the right person. That's what we. That's it what has to be the right person. Okay, like, so it got to be like forty k, no. and you know he got. And have, then I'm willing to like have it go. All. I mean, I'd be well. Honestly, like I've had shit jobs before. I mean, not that OnlyFans is great, but I've like. Ask a question. Yeah, yep, I got you. So. But I wouldn't. Okay, you wouldn't. Not because, I'm, I wouldn't because, again, I told you I take care of my mom, my dad. Yeah. You know, I pay for their mortgage. I pay for their bills. I pay for their medical. Like, and you looking for a like, certain type like, of man? Like, like, I will, but unfortunately, like, I'm not sure. It it sucks because it's like I've dated broke guys, right? All my life, I worked three jobs. Yeah, I worked at a hospital for 13 can years. I, can I help y'all out real quick? Yeah. with the answer and <laughs> with the chat. The, what so, you? Queen Lala, um, women are only loyal to their emotions. So, since they're only loyal to their emotions, a 40k guy can riz a woman up. And make a woman feel like, oh, well, he's actually, like she said, if he's a good guy. She said she done it before, but she over that. She ain't finna do it no more, right? Um, but generally speaking, yeah, they would, but it has a time clock. So if he's making 40K and is going to continuously make 40K forever, that ain't going to happen. It's going to only last for like, that dude only has access to her vagina for maybe a year, oh. maybe six months, <laughs> two years max. But after that, she's going to see better options all the time by scrolling through Instagram or by being approached by other guys. And that dude is out. She's going to pick a chat. So yes, yeah, it's a time clock for those 40K dudes. So here's the advice to the men. Get your stuff together. Um, Next super chat. <laughs> we have Holiday Tone sends in five dollars. Would you cancel your OnlyFans? Oh, they they still all right. This for y'all ladies. Okay, Holiday Tone five dollars. Would you cancel your OnlyFans for a man who made fifty? Come on, fifty. That was the forty. Not living in New Jersey, no. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me finish reading. Fifty <laughs> k. Those fifty k right, is so like twenty five. She said no to fifty k, and then also he says also if he made two hundred k, would you let him cheat once in a while? Only fans, ladies, get a cat. <laughs> no, no cheating. Uh -uh. Let's start. We started oh with you God. last time. Let's start with you. So okay, so if he made two hundred fifty k. Would you let the man cheat once in a while? <laughs> it's not even that. Can I, can I, can I say? The, the a guy, a guy told years, me yeah. this. A guy told me this. She said that's not this, a lot. This is what a guy <laughs> told me. Okay. Most men. This is what a guy told me. He goes, he basically blurted out. He goes, you want a rich man. Then I'm like, why are you speaking for me? He's like, but they'll cheat on you. Because people with power, people it's with money, and people with money. Yeah. It's just options. Yeah, he said has options. And they're going to cheat on you. I'll be loyal to you. And that was actually the mentality yeah. of why I dated a lot of broke dudes because I was like, I don't want to get cheated on. I don't cheat. I don't believe in cheating. Mm -hmm. 
So I love but, with my but heart. But then you broke up with the broke dudes because they weren't masculine. No, enough. no, no. I didn't break up with them. That's the funny part. They broke up with you. I, I rose them up. I invested in their dreams. I supported them. I sacrificed. My, listen, the reason why I'm doing OF Wait, is because I ended broke up, up with you. Yeah. No, but they call, but they calling me back because they want the cat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I know I'm great in bed. I know that I could be a freaking well, gazillionaire. Well, I know I could be. That. I know I could be a gazillionaire so, if I performed on. You know, if I was actually. A yeah, it isn't star. that. So However, anytime it's, a it's, woman it's, tells me that a man broke up with her, I'm a man. I coach men. He felt demasculated. Men's podcast. Well, no. Listen, listen. <laughs> anytime a a man breaks up with a woman. It's because men don't normally break up with women. So the woman had to had done something extremely bad or just or just been in nagging. Had, maybe na maybe something was truly going wrong. You're right. Because when a man gets with a woman, it's like that's his vagina. He doesn't want to give that up. Like he never wants to. Well, that's what he said. He goes, it's going to be so hard to break up with you because I, I love I, he's the thing was this was this. This is what he said. So you built him up and and then. OK, well, no, yeah. I think I think the thing is, I was also pressuring a lot. You could build someone up, but also kill a relationship by doing that. You know, why do you why do you think a lot of athletes yeah. sometimes hate their coaches? Mm -hmm. Right. I think you loved him so much, he really felt like you was never going to go anywhere. What do you mean? Like, you loved him so much, you gave him so much, you nurtured him, you gave him everything. That he, I was never going to leave? Right. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. No, but he, his question is like... But that's not why he left. Right, he didn't, he, he, no. Men, men don't... What I'm trying to no, say I is... No, I know where I was wrong. I was wrong because I was nagging. Well, where's the next step? What are okay, we going to yeah, do now? Not, okay, you're taking you accountability. Know. Okay, you oh, were yeah, nagging yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. I was nagging, I was pressuring, I was this, like, because I'm like, all right... We set goals. Yeah, that we would, that a, would we make a man. Like, we had a plan. So when do we finally get into this plan? Because I'm not getting... five months ago. Well, yeah, yeah. That was a dude from five months ago. Right, right, right. But again, but he... No, but I don't want to go too deep, but... Well, no, no, it's fine. I kicked him out. Deep. I kicked him out of the house. Oh, he's, he's living, living at home. You? He's living uh, at home. Uh, no, because you say he broke up with you. I was just trying to figure Right. Like, wait, you kicked him out. Then he broke up with you? Uh, five months later, but he was living in a situation that's not. I don't want to put that out there because I do respect him at the so end really, of the day. So really, you broke up with him if you kicked him out. That, yeah, bro, we were still together. I, I was hoping that he would wake up and be nah, like, Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, you yeah. Can't see, do that. see, women. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. So nah, I nah. fucked he, up, or should no, I, or should I have tolerated, or should I have tolerated? Go ahead. You. So I. So he didn't break up with me. I already broke up with him. Is that what happened? Okay. Okay. Once you let him in. He was already comfortable. He was very comfortable. You had to have set certain boundaries before he moved And in. I tried, and I tried, but try, my people pleasing kicked in. Right, you're right, you're right. And those boundaries ain't set. Correct. That's why you ended up putting him And I out. put my foot no, down, I said look, go. Just look, ladies, ladies, stop, stop. Correct, you're correct. Because y'all having female talk. She's correct. You did, nothing She's is correct. correct. Here's the correctness. <laughs> I don't hear what he's saying. I get your perspective, though. I'm not but saying again, that perspective But again, I respect this. I don't want to put a business out there, but it's complex. Here's the truth, right? Just the fact that you had to put your foot down and you was the one setting boundaries in a relationship is the fact that you kicked him out because he was a beta male. Like, a woman putting boundaries on a man like you was wearing the boxers in a relationship. And I didn't want that. I don't want to be yeah, wearing so boxers. Yeah, so that's why, like, it I doesn't work. I want to be in my soft feminine. You weren't a leader. So right, in order yeah. for you to feel Like I said, I cook, clean, feminine, massage. I did everything. Yeah, got you. In order for you to feel in your most feminine and follow a man's lead... He has to be that man for you to follow, and you you pretty much just explained you wore the boxes. But anyways, okay, cool. <laughs> Let's get to the other super chats, and if y'all have any questions, Melissa, yeah, you are gonna have some questions. Think. She's think. thinking. Oh, I, I, she, she, her I see mind you. Is running. You, cool, you quiet, Can but I, I see you. Chat a question since they over there talking. Oh, you want the chat? Okay, chat. Look in that camera. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why do you, why does a lot of men perceive to be one way? And a woman will tell them, like, listen, I want a relationship. I want to be, you know, exclusive. I want a commitment. A man will go so hard and and play that role and literally act like, like, yeah, like, I want to be in a relationship too, knowing full well that's not really what he wants. Mm. I want to know why do men do that? Because I'm, I'm, I, I've, of course, I've been in that in the past, in the, you know, in the past, but. I wait, wait, why it. do men do what exactly? I'm sorry, I was reading the chat. Stay wild and go ahead. Basically, why, <laughs> do they, why do they lie about what they what, what they want? If a woman says she wants a relationship, a man will be like, okay, yeah, I want a relationship too, but knowing that's not really what they want. I felt oh, like well, that's a simple question. I mean, guys want sex, so they're going to do whatever. <laughs> Human beings is very simple. Let me they just understand that they're, they're part of the reason why they're damaging and women are like, like this. Y y well, well you, yes, it's a part. 
but women still got to take accountability for choosing those men. So, because you, you grant access to sex. So, since you grant access to sex, you take the accountability for letting a bum, broke dude, or a I'm dude that's... I'm not even that's, talking about sex. I, I'm talking I, about yeah, period. Time. Okay, cool. But you, the woman has to take accountability for dealing with that man and letting that man around her space. Mm -hmm. Because women grant that access. So, here's what I'm saying, right? Um, men, all human beings... We want to take, we take the easiest route for success. We like to mitigate risk. We are risk mitigation creatures, right? So uh, the guy, he has a natural proclivity to want sex. Well, what's the easiest route to get to sex? Lie. <laughs> so and I don't promote this. <laughs> I don't think men should do this. I think men should tell the truth and be, have some in integrity about themselves mm -hmm. and be men. You know what I'm saying? But... Uh, the facts is that, you know, dudes is out here horny. I mean, did I ever lie when I was young to get lie to get pooned? Nah, I never lied to get pooned. Was never in that situation where I had to. Always been tall and a, an attractive man. But I know most guys <laughs> had to. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have everything. I wasn't didn't look like this or have the success when I was young. But, you know, I was always charismatic. You know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah, I still never, like, what, what what a nigga lie about? Yeah, niggas lie about everything. I mean, they'll lie about anything and everything to get the poon. You, maybe they may be sitting by a, a nice car, and maybe you was talking to them, and maybe they thought that the car maybe have attracted you, and you'd be like, oh, this your car? Yeah, that's my whip right here, baby. Like, I've seen <laughs> they'll just do something like that just to, so they don't, like, mess it up. It's like, oh, I got her. So, yeah, I know that's not true right here, like, in my surroundings, or maybe what she think of me, but I don't want to mess this up because like it's an opportunity for me to close this sale and that's so true at the bare minimum that's the truth i look back at my past and i remember the first date i said hey i'm about to be 37 i'm getting ready to get my eggs frozen um i want marriage i want this i have an of i don't plan to do it for more than just a year after a year i want to be able to get into this this and that i set my career and my dreams and my stuff and my goals on pause to help him that's where i take accountability he didn't do nothing wrong I fucked up. I fucked up. I gave him all the material that I said I wanted, and he lied and said he, he was ready to start a family, that he yeah. was okay with all this stuff. You can't. I can't get back those two years almost. You know what I'm saying? And if I, and looking back, the hardships that I went through, the struggle that we went through together to get him in and out of certain spaces, like, my, my egg journey should have been beautiful, like a pregnancy, right? But it was really sad. And I pray to God all the time. And again, if it wasn't for my OF, what would have happened? I wouldn't have been able to take it. My parents would have had to sell their house. They would have been. So, so I have. So OF helped you out to freeze your eggs? To freeze my eggs because okay. that ain't cheap. You know, it's not cheap. Do you know now New Jersey just um, allowed insurance? Well, insurances are now helping women, women to freeze, to their, freeze eggs, their eggs. Okay. But not a whole lot. But back then. And I was through the grace of God. I was able to barter a system and say, hey, let me let me do it on my podcast. Let me do yeah. it on my YouTube. So they provided all the medical treatment you, you, minus the pharmacology. Let me you know how you much a, I spent? 16 grand. Let me give you an equivalent, right? Like when a woman like says, because uh, that's like a virtue signal, right? Like a virtue signal is trying to make yourself seem more moral, right? So I'm going to give you equivalent of what you said. You said that, well, I didn't have, you know, this going on. My mother would have to sell her house for me to freeze my eggs. But so I started the OnlyFans and I was able to. No, like, she didn't have to sell her. She didn't have to well, sell no, the no, house. Well, 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 you gave the example, right? So you, you pretty well, much saying like. I lost my like, scholarship at school for my nursing. You, like, I never got to finish things because in I life, sacrificed. Yeah. Got you. Things in life was going bad. And then you're saying like, so since things in my life was going bad, you know, I had to create this OnlyFans okay. so then I can freeze my eggs. So the equivalent to that, right? This is how I'm, this is how. I'm going to say something mm -hmm. and you're going to interpret it how a man interprets what you just said. Okay. Even though I get what you're saying, but this is how men interpret it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Um, dang baby girl. Like, you know, I was, you know, broke, you know, living in the projects and stuff like that. So, you know, you know, I, I, I had to sell drugs, you know, to, to, to make a living. So even though you did something like your life was going bad, doing an immoral act to then, get some like uh, uh you know to meet a goal or to accomplish something it, it's like all in void because because think about it like a guy that's a drug dealer women don't i mean you c care a little bit maybe i should use a different example mm -hmm. let's use yeah let's use a different example where you actually do care so here's another one right so say if a guy is like yeah so you know um 
well, you know, I was in prison. I was locked up for a while, man, and it wasn't no females around. So, you know what I mean? I I, I sucked a little <laughs> on the side. Oh wow! I sucked a little I sucked a little dicky on the side. So, uh, you know, and you gonna be like, bro, I don't care what you was going through in your life. You gay? You suck dick? Right. Correct. And that's how it is to a man. It's like we don't care what you was doing in your Correct. past. You got all the things. Correct. So can I can I ask you a question? <laughs> This is you with the stigma that thinking that I'm sucking dick, fucking a dude, and and, yeah. and having orgies, right? But that's not what I did. Yeah, I, yeah, right? I know. I know. So here, I know. so so that's that's the misconception. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that's, that's the stigma. So, so so no, 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 no. She's breaking it yeah, down. I see I'm, what she's I'm, saying. I'm, oh yeah, I am yeah, breaking, yeah, it breaking it down. Yeah, she's breaking it down. Um, listen, I, I, didn't get, I, didn't get a, I didn't get a scholarship for Penn State just because I'm pretty. <laughs> no, I, I'm really smart. No, no, I get what you're saying. You're breaking it down. So there are choices that I've made, and I made poor choices based on the men that I put a lot of sacrifices on. Now here's my thing. I look at my whole thing like Jennifer Aniston can pose artistically nude on a cover and it's okay because she's Jennifer Aniston. Beyonce can be on a on a on a on a digital oh, horse with 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 rhinestones, <laughs> with rhinestones on her nipple with, 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 with rhinestones on her nipples. No, nah, yeah. you know, nah, like she could do it completely, completely nude, <laughs> completely Sinia, nude. Just that's okay. I gotta say, I gotta no, stop. no, that's okay though. I'm asking. No, you, I'm asking. You no, I mean, said you did your OnlyFans because you were creative. Chat glasses on. No, no, no. I said I'm a digital creator. That's something different. I I, I just produced a movie. You, you know. Hold up, you're talking way too fast. Slow down, boo-boo. Mm-hmm. Hear what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You said OnlyFans, when it started, it was a, a, a creation. It was for other things. It wasn't... I didn't know that until after the fact. You're not, Actually, if you're, you're going to repeat me... me finish, love, and I just want you to follow me. Okay. Because nobody's saying nothing. We just trying to... I want me. Mm-hmm. Fuck everybody up. Mm-hmm. I want you to know that you made that choice. I know. I, I just said so, that. So, because I just heard you say something about... Uh, poor men and decisions and stuff. You made that decision because you wanted to make that decision. That's all I need to hear you say and I can feel good because... No, I'm not talking about my OnlyFans is why I created because of the men. No, I'm talking about I lost my scholarship because I was in an abusive relationship and I chose to stay with that man. too fast because I could have sworn I heard you say something about what? wrong decisions. No, no. You, you probably didn't hear it. You're probably slowing it down with the with the <laughs> no, drinky drink. Oh, no, I mean, she was... Yeah, she, yeah. No, she was no, I didn't saying, say that. No, the, the, Mm-hmm. She she was just explaining like right. she, things was going bad in her life and then like say she was saying like if I didn't create the OnlyFans and like say if I needed to I wanted to freeze my eggs I wouldn't to have the finances so to all freeze my that eggs. Shit. No no correct but I'm not saying that be- I did OnlyFans too for, for yeah, no, yeah I, I know you just saying that to have yes, that opportunity the blessed to have the opportunity so this is why you can of freeze your eggs right I never said yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I decided to do it because I want to freeze my eggs no that wasn't even a thought. My thought was like, how do I save my parents from losing their house from the yeah, pandemic? Yeah, and she and and we, I get that <laughs> what you're saying. That that was that was what initiated. Yeah, and it. she interpreted it as you wasn't like trying to take accountability for that. Right. She, I truly believe that. I mean, you seem like a smart girl to me. Right. So it seemed like you know right. what you got right. yourself into. Right. So I just no biggie. I mean, no, and I get it. That's girls why don't hear that. I mean, only fans. know we be having some porno stars up here or something. Right, and I, mean, I and I get it, and it's funny because in the West Coast, the stigma of OF is so different than here. Over there, there's literally girls that are TikTokers that have sex with their boyfriends that are TikTokers, and they're making millions together, and they're respected. Or here, there's yeah, I don't this know if they in, what, well, what country? In the West Coast, I swear to God, oh, it was the a, West Coast. That's in a, yeah, it, they, she said in, and, 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 in LA they respect it. And, 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 and it was crazy to me. It was crazy because these same like couples, and there's a lot of couples that do it together, and they're making millions and millions. they're making millions on TikTok. They're making so millions what, what on YouTube. This is, this is what, and I'm drawn because I'm like, whoa, I'm here feeling a little ashamed uh, to say it. That's why I wasn't the first thing gotcha. I said. So, and this is what the chat said about: Do you ladies have any morals? Because it doesn't matter. I'm a man, right? And I'm a virtuous man. And a woman could be a virtuous woman, right? Just virtuous people in genu- in, in general. Nothing is going to, like, uh, supersede your integrity. It's just things that I won't do. Like, I had offers, for example, to um, because I don't smoke or drink, and I don't even cuss, right? I'm not trying to virtue signal. I'm just stating this fact here. So I had offers to uh, um, promote like weed and stuff like that on the podcast. It's offering me thousands of dollars to just, you know, um, having, uh, uh, you know, talk about it, this brand and stuff like that. I was like, bro, 
I don't care how much money you offer me, I'm not doing it. Right. I had alcohol companies hit me up. The reason why I don't really have any sponsors is because they be the degenerate ones. <laughs> alcohol, weed, I'm not it's doing not it. Good. Stop hitting me up. I'm never going to do it. Right. I don't care how, a billion dollars, I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. I got freaking two kids. You think if I do something stupid like that, how are my kids going to look at me? I'm going to look like an idiot, mm -hmm. be weak. You know what I mean? The reason why I don't cuss is because it's like, I mean, I could cuss. I, uh, it pops up in my mind all the time. But it's like, all right, if I ever get to the point where I do cuss, it's like, oh, I was, I was broken. Like, uh, now I could do anything. I'll probably become the beast and just start doing crazy things. So part of me having self-control and uh, just controlling my words. So I know if I can control my words, no one can penetrate my mind to make me suck a or uh, sell my soul, you know what I mean? So that's just something about being a virtuous man and a man of integrity. You got to stand for something. And uh, But I, I get it. Like, no one's hating on, you know, the OnlyFans. You said that you don't really post any nudes. So I was like, oh, cool. And but, I also, you did, but I also like, was to say, even if you you're did, a grown woman, right, right. And that's what day, I want to get at. At the end of the day. Only God can judge. Right. And opinion. that's and that's the, the thing about when people try to bring religion. Religion is compassionate love. The only person I could judge is God. You know, Yo, what, that, but that's what you're that, that you going to get to the conversation at the judge, end. But God but has e the final judgment. Right. And, and to each yeah. their own. Like, for example, like I know girls that make millions of dollars and do stuff with their husbands and their teachers, but they but they have a whole separate life, you know, but I don't judge you. Make your money. I couldn't like my I remember my ex one time was like, oh, we should do. I was like, I no. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. I, got, I got offers to do OnlyFans, of course. You know, like, I was like, no. I was like, nah, man. I'm I was not, like, they're going to see everything. From like agencies and, every, and stuff, no. like, they'll hit me up but like, yo. But that's okay to those that do, do it, you know? But I can't, and like what you said, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to go all out. But the thing is, it's easier said than done because no. when I'm, isn't that what you said earlier? You're like, I don't want to, I didn't want to do it. Because, about me. Right. And, and let me get to the super chats real quick, ladies. About, real quick, I just real don't quick. I want you to feel like yeah, judging you. I no, you I appreciate that. that. No, no, no. I appreciate no, I that. No, I think she is. I, I, I get the vibe that she is. Um, to an extent, I, I get the vibe. Um, but yeah, I, th I think she's genuine too. She's open and honest. So, I mean, she being no fool gazy. So, at the end of the day, thank you. Um, <laughs> let's get to the super chat. So, we have. Uh, Holiday Tone says in two dollars. He says Jesus and OnlyFans don't mix. Stop the cap. Um, mm. Brother Jen sends in ten dollars. He says my man Cooley talking facts like you always do, as always. But I really think it's all because most women really don't want to do what it takes to attract that masculine man long term. Miss thirty nine. That's he's talking about you. Uh, I think she came to the realization. Um, I think she already came to that realization because even when I mentioned it to her, it didn't even start her. She was like, yeah, I kind of already figured that most all those masculine guys, when they find out I have OnlyFans, they kind of just come like, ah, so then it's going to be hard for her to, you know, have discernment and and that's why I give myself a limit, right? I'm giving myself a window yeah. and I'm saying, all right, I'm going to stack up all this stuff. I'm going to buy property. I'm going to do things correct because unfortunately this is what I chose currently to are do. Are you okay with actually lowering your standards? That's a good question for you. What do you think my standards are? Um, I would, well, you kind of said that you want a masculine man and a man that you, a man that's a leader that can lead you. So a man. So you want me to lower that because that'll take me back to the beta and I don't want that. Well, 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 here's the thing. It, it, it won't actually take you back to the beta. I'm not saying there's guys that make $40,000 a year and ain't betas. No, as long as they're happy. Correct. If a man's happy at making 40 K, but the thing is, if you're asking me to stop doing what I'm doing, no, no, he won't. Well, 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 here's the thing. Uh, well, any man, uh, 40 K or a million dollars, he going to ask you to stop making well, a guy with a million dollars and be like, baby, you know what? What do you need? You want to go back to school? OK, I'll, I'll help I'm, you pay for it. I'll help you find grants. I'll help you do this. Because life isn't <laughs> just just keep it funky. Like life isn't all about money. It's not ladies. about money. <laughs> it isn't. Like, it ain't Correct. all about money. Like, Correct. OK, of, of course, I'm on a podcast and I got bread. I'm fine. My life is great. And because I assert myself and I made it. I'm 34 years old. Though. It took time for me to acquire this value. But. It ain't all about bread. It's more than life to that. You can live. There are people in third world countries that, that are, are more happier and peaceful than rich billionaires. So life isn't all always. All if about I was money. thinking about myself. Yeah. Yes. But I got to think about two other people that are alive that I currently are on my shoulders. So the un answer, unfortunately, will have to be no. Yeah, yeah. I feel what right. you're saying. I get it. Because and, and, and I've been to those third world countries and I'm like, shit, if I could live here. 
selling coconut on the beach, Co- coconut. I'll be doing it. Yeah. And if I lived under a you little, a little if I lived I, under a tent, I'd ask, be happy. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. When you asked the question earlier about the 40K, like what a person do, my thing is what's the goal? Because I'm thinking, like, I feel like men, they're, they, they're putting money to stuff 75K, 20, 250K. It's like, it's like it's a dare. But what do you get at the end of that? It's like it's not really pleasurable. You know what I mean? It's like, so what is the money really for? It's like, oh, yeah, I got this money. But I, honestly, I would feel degraded. I wouldn't even enjoy the money knowing if I did something like, you know what I mean? So it's like. You mean if you did something like OnlyFans for money? I see no, what you're saying. Well, I the chat had asked about forty thousand and something. Else. For, yeah, forty thousand to do something crazy yeah, like a sexual so act. Yeah, yeah. Like I didn't understand those. I don't understand those questions. Yeah, those questions were a lot like fantasy questions. No, there wasn't a lot. Li- it was those questions, ladies. That's how y'all interpret it. I'm a man. Those questions were testing your morality. Okay. Right. That's all okay. it was. It was testing how was what like, is was your like, limit? No. What would you do for? a little you know what would you do for this amount of change well let me tell you something when i was on the cover when i was doing television for mtv mundos and telemundo telemundo yeah you, telemundo. When, when i was doing when, telemundo. I, when, I, when i was doing tv <laughs> oh, when i was doing tv hosting when i was doing tv before my domestic violent experience where i almost yeah. died i got offered to not fuck big people can you do the telemundo in your, telemundo <laughs> listen listen i got offered not to fuck I but to be in it. a relationship to marry men that would that would pave the way yeah. me all the way through hollywood and i said I, I first of all i'm not attracted to you yes you have power yes you have it was just respect, guys yes, you have money. i just wasn't i just wasn't attracted I so I, but, quick, I, but i, I turned it down wilding. that's why for the me too movement i don't do feel bad listen i don't feel bad <laughs> i don't feel bad for the women that are out there me too me too me too why yeah, okay. you spread your legs you knew yeah. what you was getting now you got an oscar and you feel like you could break through and tell your story mm-hmm. no see i chose not to spread my legs to come up i could have been listen i could have been in hollywood ages ago mm-hmm. before i met my abusive uh, ex that almost killed me and took all my platforms down i could have but my integrity said no i'm not gonna fuck my way to the top do you know what i mean so that's the thing uh, there's 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 a lot of uh, that girl asked for morality and i don't judge the women that did do that but don't be crying boo-hoo me too me too when you got that emmy when you got that oscar when you got that grammy honey mm-hmm. you spread your legs you 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 had I sex with you you had, se- you had sex oh, yeah. you had sex you had sex with that I, man that was married with kids you got I, sex with that 60 80 year old man that was gonna croak tomorrow you know like i got you let me let me <laughs> let me get to the you. super chats I don't can you do the Telemundo intro? There is no intro. For you know when they come, what? I turn yes, the yes, channel yes. sometimes. Like, That's not an intro. Telemundo. That's not intro. Oh, bienvenidos a Telemundo. Welcome to Telemundo. Wait, That's... do that again. Bienvenidos a Telemundo. Wait, damn, I'm going to need to learn that. <laughs> I'm about to do that in my intro, No Fugazi. Telemundo, No Fugazi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get right. Uh, let's get to the chats real quick. And ladies, think of some questions. I like the I like the conversations. We're love, every, love. It's passionate. I like your love. I love your love. Uh, uh, y'all two over here. We gotta what? get y'all more engaged. <laughs> Especially you. You ain't saying nothing, and I know you got some crazy thoughts. She got thoughts. I know. You got <laughs> thoughts. I see the eyes. There's telling you got stories. Thoughts. There's telling stories. No, I'm joking. You got thoughts. 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 Oh, super she chats. Said she, had, she said she had. What is it you said when you sat down? You said I had 30 thoughts. Is that I want to know if there's <laughs> real men in the chat because I don't like the question. H- hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, <laughs> don't disrespect the chat, Mama Sita. Oh. We live. I uh, didn't disrespect the chat. I asked as there real men in the chat. I mean, yeah. Uh, we got <laughs> FBN Can't Handle sends in a dollar. Oh, appreciate a your dollar? support. No question, a just dollar. a dollar. Appreciate that. I need that dollar. <laughs> um, <laughs> He's making it rain. <laughs> You're making it rain. We'll, uh, appreciate the support. I mean, even if you send in a penny, it's, it it's adds showing. Up. It adds up. It's showing it support, up. man. So uh, let's see. And, and everything y'all donate, <laughs> just to let you guys know, it goes into the studio. So um, all the super chats y'all send in is going to go into another camera. It's going to go into more staff <laughs> doing clips. So, yeah, it's just going to go right into it. Uh, we have Marmar, Marzi, Marmar. What the? Bro. Uh, sends in $5. <laughs> Ladies, what's more important to you? Being nur- being being nurturing, being a nurturing mom, loyal woman to a man, or chasing a career and being independent? A nurturing mom. Oh, mom. Oh god, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's start with you. That's all I am. That's Nur- all I do. Okay, nurturing I mom more important. Really like a 5-minute break to be here from doing that. That's like 
that's what I live for. Like. And uh, let's give a shout out to you real quick because um, you did reach out to the podcast to be on, and I was like, hey, you want to come on? And you was like, you know what? Uh, I come on today. It was like last minute. You said you'll come on. So, um, yeah, you pulled up. Uh, what about you? What's the question? So, <laughs> you, you barely spoke and you ain't even listening either. I'm about to. So, ladies, what's more important? Being a nurturing mom, loyal to a man, like you're loyal to a man and your mother, right? Um, or chasing a career and being independent. Why can't be both? How are you going to be independent you and have a answer. man? It's an oxymoron. <laughs> If you got a man, you're independent. I was just thinking about, yes, you can be independent, but then you can be a nurturing mom to, like, your boys and not your mom. I she mean, said, why can't you have okay, the best okay, of both worlds? But, 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 but mm -hmm. you, the, the law you, the nurturing mom and having a man is together. You can't, like, exclude the man and be independent. She, I think she was, she was looking at the context I'm of her so children. Sorry. Yeah, I not was. Not, like, a man, her husband I was. or anything I'm like not that. Gonna, it's like, yeah. so that's my current situation, but... My, I like really what I want. I want to be loyal to my man, but I just know my situation because I'm not married. I, you know what I mean? Like, I have my kids. Yeah, but I have to put my kids first. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, listen, ladies, ladies. That's not right. the question. The question is <laughs> option A or option yeah, it's B. Yeah, option A or option pick. B. There's like, no you just got to pick. So sadly, sadly. One comes together. So, you're a nurturing mom to a man. You're, you're a nurturing a mom man? and you're loyal to a man. Oh, loyal okay. to a man. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah so together. you're a nurturing mom and you're loyal to a man. That's yes. A mm -hmm. or yeah, like you are you chasing a career and no. you're independent. No, I, I no. Okay, nurture your mom so it's and loyal man. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. What about you? Okay, A. The I like one. that. So you're gonna be uh, independent. And, and you've been quiet this whole time. <laughs> 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 hey, chat. Uh, Melissa over here. She independent woman. She ain't choosing a man at all, and she over here quiet. No wonder why you quiet. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what are what are you choosing? <laughs> um. <clears throat> I guess, like the being being like a nurturing. Okay, yeah. so it's, it's both like a nurturing mom and loyal to a man. So like you got yeah. a man, like you got a family, pretty like, much. Ha, like prioritizing family yeah. over and like raising children and stuff. Over a yeah. career. Yeah. You would do that because I feel like you're raising like the next generation. So I feel like that's more important if that's the. You conservative. To an extent, what, what's your voting patterns? Who you vote for? <laughs> Are you I'm asking dead. me that? You like... vote for Biden or Trump? That's a crazy question. We, we all don't get no Fugazi. Fugazi. Not get nah, 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 look, look. <laughs> you vote for Biden or Trump. You want me to keep it no Fugazi? <laughs> I got my button. If you keep it no Fugazi, <laughs> who you vote for? Trump? Who did I vote yeah. for? Are y'all gonna? Like, I'm gonna no, go. it's totally like, fine. Gonna it's totally I fine. I don't have enough followers to get canceled. So. Yeah, you're not gonna get canceled. I voted for Trump. Hey, Ooh. we let. <laughs> 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 I love we it. Love, I love it. Love. How do you know uh, which button does what? Because oh I got God, a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> See? Okay, okay, okay. I got her in order. <laughs> uh, okay, so, I mean. She has to do the A and B. Oh, wait, did she do the? Okay, she, she is. You got to do the A and B. <laughs> I said enough. All right. <laughs> Nah, you ain't gonna get canceled, man. The, the, I mean, the world is waking up after the COVID um, um, situation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're waking up. He's like, oh, what? Like, people was like, not too fine of Trump. Like, man, he wilding. He be saying some crazy stuff. But after COVID, we like, you know what I... they doing. Okay, yeah. But we you... was like, wait, wait, wait. Something not adding up. They, uh, they trying to, what? This, what? this ain't even that. Mm -hmm. This ain't no pandemic. Pe bodies ain't dropping dead around here. What's going on? <laughs> so they woke up. They was like, wow, this was a scam to get him out of there. So then it's like, we going to put on our red hats. And we going to come back out here, man. We going to tear up this nation. And <laughs> we going to ride that Capitol building and, and get them up out of here. And then, you know, things. Let me just. <laughs> I'm being uh, too charismatic right now. Let's <laughs> move it on. Uh, so A or B, would you rather be a nurturing mom to a loyal and loyal to a man or be independent chasing a career? Loyalty to a man was never a question or an issue. I believe in loyalty. So family over a career. So I would pick family over a career. Why you look like you want to say something? I would feel. Uh, what happened? <laughs> you be saying. I ain't said nothing. You look like you was going to say. I say what she was thinking. I, let me tell you. I wanted to look away so she didn't even look at me so she could have a I'm going to say what she was thinking. So here what she was thinking because I, cause I see what she so was thinking. So here's the thing. 13, 13 years busting my ass with the same employer working away till I can, right? I got certified as LPN. I got flown to texas to train doctors and nurses because yeah because um 
which we'll call it uh Jayco was monitoring things and they okay, came well, 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 they came well, and, well, well, they came well, and well, shake well, my well. hand. I asked my employer for a raise. I was there for 13 years. Yeah, no yeah. sick days, no missed weddings, missed Got birthdays. You guys, let me stop you right there real quick. And they so offered look, me 25 that, right? cents. To take that, right? As so a raise. you was chasing the career the whole time. That time, yeah. Instead of prioritizing the man. No, but if I get to choose, but if I get to choose, you're asking me if I get to choose now, I would choose. Yeah, that's the question, right? Yeah, yeah. You telling the the man, you telling him that you you're just starting. Yeah, so you, it's like yeah, you, you just started, so it's you, like we really can't trust your word for it. So now if you have a baby, like, with the man, it's like he's skeptical because it's like, oh, but all she knows is work, 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 so. Because I know work, 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 I'm tired. I am tired. Okay, well, I'm tired. I'm, I don't want to yeah. work. I'm, if, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to work. Okay. I don't want to work. You know, I love working. Don't get me wrong. I love being creative. I love my creative aspect. Like I just made a movie that's about surviving. Women, we you know what I'm saying? Have, right, right. I love, I love to create. All right, let me get to the I super chats. I just finished up. writing a book. I got you. you let me get to the super chats because they piling up. So we got sweetheart in the black, <laughs> sweet uh, holiday tone since five dollars. Sweetheart in the black. Oh. Uh, it could there's be two, one of y'all. two. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, sweetheart in the black, two hundred k is not that much money. Shaking my head. Stop. Right. No, you oh. talking about you? <laughs> Stop doing sex work and see what the world tastes like. That's Stop. Right. We're not uh, mm -hmm. undervaluing hard work. Um, Ignore the chat. Well, well, here's what I said. You did say, and I kind of, I was like, wait, two hundred, two hundred fifty thousand dollars is a lot. So only uh, twenty percent of the population, men and women, make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Right, so and that's in the United States. So 250k is like five, or less than five, probably like three percent of of people. And I know <laughs> it's hard because I made a, even a lot of I make a whole lot more than that. So it's a lot of work you gotta do, like a lot of work you gotta put in. And and then I'm doing it the honest way. I'm not like selling sexuality or selling drugs or or doing anything. You know, like, you got the girls watching. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, telling her that it's hard to do. Like, it's, you got to really assert yourself in this world to make that type of money. And it does shape you. Like, it shapes you as an individual. Like, when you put in that much effort into something, you become what you do. You become more congruent instead of, uh, you become a more decisive instead of indecisive. You become more non-agreeable. It, it, it shapes the masculinity like when i was young i was kind of made like yeah i'm with whatever thing like, is cool but now i'm like nah nigga i don't do none of that i'm here or there shut up <clears throat> um i meant it more like yeah because it was in the context of like if somebody could like it, like cheating like oh that, see, yeah okay yeah see. that's why i well, said that's even not, with that context that's not it's still like yeah no oh, but that's still it, not enough general, that's still not enough in general i got what you're saying as a general yeah. statement that's like a lot of money yeah okay okay so actually let's this is a good question to go around with since we're on that topic <laughs> thank you for that because we no one really even answered that how much does a man have to make for you to accept it's going to be behind your back you'll never know and then he ain't going to bring nothing back to you it's going to just be like that how much money does a man have to make for you to turn a blind eye to him clapping cheeks maybe once a year i don't understand the question okay because <laughs> we don't cheat because we don't we don't need but more than just one man that's all we need how but men much want multiple money women. does a man have to make in order for him to have a pass to have sex there's never a pass got you so you know so you know what no about pass. you no, no pass. pass yeah it doesn't matter i don't care if it's like drake it doesn't matter in like a perfect makes, world like bro, like like money. listen we, chat we they, what about you matt why do they need a pass right yeah <laughs> what's the purpose of having a pass Dang, aren't you bro. satisfied <laughs> Dang, bro chat they just don't understand man <laughs> Listen, man, we gonna do move I, on. Wait, do oh, I also you give your girl the pie? Can I say this? Time <laughs> out. <laughs> we going to them because they just said, hold up, stop the podcast. What y'all just say? I said, well, do I get a pass then? Go ahead and say it again. It, Does a girl get a pass? Exactly. If you get a pass, it ain't a pass. You devalued yourself. Right. And guess what? You're a whore <laughs> if you cheat. If a man cheats, he isn't a whore. My brain hurts. Can I get water? Can I say something, please? <laughs> You would need a water? No. Oh. Can I say this? Look, Probably. listen, real Probably, quick, real yeah. quick, ladies. <laughs> it's much differently. Y'all think sex between a man and a woman is the same? No. Clearly it's not. I, I learned a whole nother thing. Okay, well, let's go to them two. Real quick, I got you. Let me get this out. They, don't, they haven't been talking. Got you. So, late, y'all two, starting with you. Do you think sex between a man and a woman is the same? Possibly no. Okay, no, okay. <laughs> what about you? I don't think, I don't think it is. 
but I think that cheating is also like in the same way not perceived the same as like so. can I make a joke hunted. can I make a quick joke okay. Gotcha, gotcha, ladies. Let Quit me joke. let let, them get, let these ladies get a little bit of time. Let me talk okay. to them for a little bit because they was making some stuff. Okay, yeah. good. They, good. They brought up some good topics, right? All right, cool. So you said that, um, you know, cheating is perceived differently from when a man does it and a woman does it, right? right. Okay. Yeah. And you think that? Do you think that when a woman cheats is worse than when a man cheats? Um, worse, like in. I don't, I don't know. I was. I meant more so like. I mean, maybe. Well, let's strip because, it back. Let's let's fall uh, yeah, back. Yeah, I do actually think that it is worse. Okay. Because and I, why do you think it's worse? Yeah. Because I think it's more premeditated. I think it's for a woman to cheat. You've already emotionally detached, like Got a, for a long period of time okay. before that happens. But I think that also like it, it like not not that it because it's bad on both ends, like as far as being cheated on. But I think that it's just different. The way that women perceive it and the way that men perceive it, just like yes, what, the way that men just have meaning looks. Gotcha. So like, you kind of yeah. answered my question. So like, not even answer my question. You kind of answered your own question because you was like, well, if you have a pass of cheating, if a man has a pass of cheating, why can't a woman have a pass of cheating? If a man has a pass, well, and if you have a pass, is not really cheating. Okay, got that out of window. So now, if a man has a pass for to have sex with another woman. Or if a and, and you said, well, why can't a woman have a pass for to have sex with another man? Because women can only have sex with men that they like. They can't have sex with men that they don't like. Me as a man can clap some cheeks to a girl that I hate, uh, meaning that I'm capable of it as a man. Not saying that I will myself personally, <laughs> I won't, but I'm still capable of doing it. And every man in this world is capable of doing it. But women, you, you are emotional creatures. A man has to meet a certain, a man has to meet your standard for you to allow someone to spread open your legs and slide in between your soul gaps and smack it and flip it around. It just doesn't happen the same way. And think about it. That process, smack it and flipping it around, spreading your legs. It's a submissive act for you when you have sex. For a man, it's a dominating act. So it's totally different. Like you submit your body and your will to someone. I serve dick. That's a two totally different scenarios. <laughs> like <laughs> just a little dick, baby. Don't get mad. You just serve that. Oh, you let a dude hit. Ugh, it's disgusting. Like it's like, ugh, it's filthy. Sturdy. Is, is, I'm not creating this picture for y'all. No. No. Okay. <laughs> do you think it's worse if a man or a woman cheats, or you think it's the same? What What do you think is worse? It's you think same, it's the same. It's the same. People. What? Okay. So you you were talking on the context of being in a relationship, right? And and women are biologically intact. That's well. No. Let's know. let's just talk about because we are taking they, this they, stuff they, further. They, they, they cheat because of emotions and all. We of know that. that cheating is bad. Right. Mm -hmm. We all agree to that cheating is like cheating. We know that it's bad, but we have to have the ability to differentiate things. Right. Mm -hmm. Like we both me and her agreed to. Well, it is different the way we perceive it. And also the act is different. How I broke it down. Right. So now since we know that things are actually different than cheating, we can, uh, you know, calculate to which is worse. Right. It's like murder or premeditated murder. Which one is worse? Like murder, I could just kill somebody by driving in a car, defense. right? Premeditated murder, I meant it. I walked into their house, tied up the kids, sliced them all up. So you're saying yeah. the woman premeditate? Woman cheating in. is premeditated murder. She liked that guy. And guess what? So what if it's just She for liked revenge? it too. No, no, guess what? She liked the guy and she don't really like her guy. I could actually love a chick oh, this is and go general. clap something else. Uh, this is in general. Okay. Yeah. In general, yeah. Yeah. Do y'all agree to that? Can I, I wanted to make a funny statement. It? Totally get it. Okay, so it's go sad. ahead. Uh, and it's sad. You and the you. Go ahead. You, you asked a question. I did. Do you think, do you think sex is you. the same for men and women? It's not because men be coming real fast and it takes a lot of work for women to get there. So it ain't the same. <laughs> Well, that exactly. was my joke. That was my joke. That's what no, I wanted I mean, to say. Women, it ain't the same, okay? I it mean, ain't the same. Women, it's another phrase, women. <laughs> it ain't the same. Uh, it depends on the type of man you're dealing with. Maybe you messing with a little joker. Maybe he may be a quick comer. But generally speaking, you are correct. You know, men normally come faster, and it takes a little bit more effort to make so a woman come. Depending <laughs> on 
uh, the man's value. He could get the job done much easier if he knows his way around, around women. But yeah, I get what you're saying. Generally speaking, <laughs> you are correct. Uh, what you had? Uh, it was you next. I just want to say, like, because you're basically telling me it's just in men's nature they're going to cheat. No, 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 no. no. That's I'm not saying they're going to. Not men like, cheat. I'm not. No, no. Well, I'm not saying that they should, but it's gonna happen. Yeah, you're right. That's what I'm go saying. Ahead, That's ahead. basically yeah. what you're saying. Like, let's just yeah. keep it a bug. True. So, but you don't cheat because you get a pass. So, no, no, no. What? No. All I'm, saying, saying is, <laughs> like, I'm not saying me. If I, I I want to be in a relationship, I want to be in a fully committed relationship, and you're basically telling me men are going to cheat. I just don't want to find out. I don't want to be hurt. I I want to be protected in that way. You be lied to. You understand? I don't want to be lied to. No, I don't want to be lied to. I want to be loved. So yeah. now, you understand? I want mm -hmm. to be loved. So now, if you have to lie to me, to to keep me protected you understand uh -huh. it might not make sense to you guys but i just want to be happy with my one person you understand men are sloppy yeah men and have things that come back you have women calling women in your dms all types of stuff. i don't want that yeah, yeah no one is promoting cheating on his podcast i'm not saying that i'm just sp stating the differences if i'm talking about something that doesn't mean that i'm like promoting men to cheat i think men should be honest when they're in a relationship and if they want it open or on their end yo listen baby um hey uh i slang this thing around every every now and then um you gonna handle that but the thing is that most women are gonna say no but if the man's value is high enough, he probably can have some woman that will say yes. Because trust me, they do say yes. Um, but with that being said, it's like most men is just going to lie. Because like I said, they want the easiest route to success. And uh, yeah. B back to Mel real quick. So Mel, you said that um, the is, is so you said, here's the question. Sex between a man and a woman, which one is worse? Sex between men and women. Sex between man and woman. Which one is like no, no yeah like if a like man. if a man is cheating or and a woman is I'm sorry if a <laughs> which one is worse <laughs> a man cheating or a woman cheating? I think it's the same thing. Okay, you still think it's the same emotions. Okay, gotcha. And you can't differentiate the two to see like okay, and even though when if, I said the murder versus general, premeditated murder in general because of the stigma that's there, obviously that they're gonna say women, but for me it's both. But, but like, the point that I'm making, right? Just I hear understand this. your point, but I don't agree with it. You don't have to agree with it, but it's the truth. So here's the truth. Since men are capable of having sex with someone that they don't like, and they're capable of having sex with someone that they hate, and a woman isn't, that means that if a man cheats, he's still capable of loving his woman. But anytime a woman cheats, she doesn't love her man at all. Yeah. So that means that when a woman cheats, the relationship is done. She already, a woman already left the relationship usually six to eight months before she even cheated. <laughs> like mentally, she left that relationship. And then because her bo women are only loyal to their emotions, right? I'll explain it this way. And I say this all the time. So since women are only loyal to their emotions, whichever man is manipulating the woman's emotions, that's the man that she's loyal to. When that man starts lacking golf or doesn't have the ability to manipulate her emotions as he's been, then her emotions, then she's only going to be loyal to herself, so her own emotions. So if another dude can raise your chick up, it's like, ooh, okay, now her emotions is on someone else. So she's only loyal to her emotions. This is why women claim independent when they get money because, oh, I got some money. I got some, like, yeah, I'm, I'm loyal to how I feel. So, yeah, I'm independent. Why do you think that that word, like when a man makes money, he doesn't think independence. But when a woman makes money, she thinks, oh, independence because she's only loyal to wherever her emotions is. Like, it all correlates back to what I'm saying. I'm speaking truth. God dang. So Go is ahead. it safe to say because women when they get a certain high value man and they know that man has options it's not really love it's just for them oh, wait 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 the status and power no 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 no, no. no, right. no you i see where you come in no, no. listen i'm a woman you I can say what you want no. 
I'm there's exceptions you. to the rules. Yes. I see like what you're Anna saying. Nicole you Smith understand? is a prime example. Yeah, well, these ladies may be too young, but you know about Anna Nicole, Anna Nicole Smith. Yeah, the, the, she got married to the very old guy. We I all knew, you. everyone <laughs> all knew that she was only in it to get that uh to, he was to as a beneficiary. Soon. He's he gonna, gonna die soon and she's gonna get that bag. <laughs> and she got multiple millions by being with this old dude. I think she got with him when he was like eighty years old. But that ain't it, old anymore. But he was very old. He looked no, like ninety eight years old. No, 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 no. Yeah, here's the point. We know that we know that woman would do things and get with a man with you know a whole lot of money like that so that's an exception to the rule right that's an exception because she's I, talking said about a man. A, I said it in the beginning of the podcast ladies like just listen to understand i listen to respond here in the beginning of the podcast i said that we all have a nature a woman's nature is hypergamous that means that she tends to prioritize a man that's on her level or above her level preferably right a woman a man's nature is polygamy he tends to prioritize quantity a lot of women that's why most women go for top tier dudes and most men they as only as faithful as their options got it right so it comes a place in time where your morals have to supersede your nature you got it? So when the morals supersedes the nature, you're not looking at a man as a dollar sign. You get you get what I'm saying? Look at him like a, I know that I you hear, shouldn't, I hear you, I get but you. it happens, and that's the general senses of things. That's what generally happens. Generally speaking, men are only as faithful as their options. Generally speaking, women are hypergamous. They want got the it. biggest, better deal, the, the biggest deal that they can get. But... Overall, in general, apparently men yeah, are men, men are general, men men so men 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 are polygamous. But you get what I'm saying. But overall, yeah. men will always that cheat. That ain't true. Or, or you date five, six dudes. You six one, no, no, six no. ten. No, but what, what, what we get out of this is that it don't matter if you got a good man or a bad man. He apparently gonna whip his dick around at least once a year, whether we know it or we don't know it. That's Whoa. what he's saying. Polygamous. They, they they want number, power, conquer. What well, what. Well, that's what uh, that's apparently what I just learned today. Damn, so that's that. probably why Damn. some women are probably like, I'd rather be by myself right. than be with somebody because eventually people do slip up, no I matter know. how good you are in keeping secrets. For and me, I stay single a long time for the simple fact I was just scared of being hurt. Right. I didn't. I wanted to take the risk. I <laughs> no, wanted to be in a relationship, <laughs> but it was just like, <laughs> why? give myself give my all to somebody and i know they're gonna do the same thing again so it doesn't like it was like for me it didn't matter but i stripped myself from to me it was like negative vibe i was like i want to be loved i want to be in a relationship i'm not gonna get there thinking like this so i have to drop some of those you know what i mean i have to yeah. i have to want to love again i have to open my mind to say like not everybody has assholes and things like that so yeah since i've done that i feel and, better Go ahead. uh no good talk um because I'm my phone dead, but we're going to get to the Super Chats in a little bit. Going to read the Super Chats in a little bit. But uh, let's get the conversation. To, we, we didn't even get to the games. Yeah. It's probably <laughs> too late for the games. Forget the games. Um, let's stick it here. Y'all got any other any other questions or any topics y'all want to get on before I read the Super Chats? Because it's about to pop up. Anything? No, the Super Chats, be, super they, they have some good. They have the some super good. Chats super. Yeah. The Super Chats do be having They stir some, it up. They some, stir it up. Some good. They stir it up. Um, you you know what, Steve? Let me see your laptop so I can read the super chats. Cause while my phone is um charging. Uh, just go to uh yeah, fan funding and pop that up. Good look, bro. So can I ask a question to you? Yeah, um, sure. Is it? Got it. So when a woman is like overly working, does that like turn a man off? Does he not understand, like, she has to survive, she has to take care of herself, what is she going to do? It's Where like, right? she's not doing, not all women, and I get it, there's a lot of women out here that's like, yeah, I'm super independent, I want to do this, and I want to do that, but not all of us are like that. You're like, I got to, I got to pay the bills. Like, okay, got it. Is. Right. Wait, what were you saying? So you had a question for me, right? Yeah. What was it? I just want to know, like, do men, do... And I don't want to just say men because I don't want like the asshole men, you know. I want to. I'm talking to the, the qualified men, the men that actually want to be in a relationship, the ones that's actually tired of dealing with weak and just toxic females. Okay. You know. What's the question? Damn. I remember the question. Okay, the qu good. Yeah. Oh, she's got a question. Cool. And I'll, remember the question for me. <clears throat> go ahead. What you got? 
She didn't. Y'all don't Are remember you? the damn question? I do. Bas- I remember. She wants to know, is a high-quality man going to look down on her because she's paying, she's working hard to survive? Basically. A yeah. high-quality man is... Uh, going to look mean, down on her because no, she's... Is uh, she, is she going to be too masculine? Or, yeah. Well, well, d- I mean, this is how it is. Let me not say they do because maybe I, I had that wrong. So I'm listening. To yeah, you. I mean, this oh. is how it is. A, a man isn't looking down on a woman... Um, uh, because you know she's being self-sufficient that's what she should do she needs to be self-sufficient and handle her priorities and stuff like that right um, that's totally fine is when you adopt the mindset remember I talked about molding like since a lot of things already modes mode your worldview if when a woman starts using language like independent and oh, I want a partnership you, we know you've been molded and you've been socially constructed to have these ideologies and normally you're gonna be be a little bit more masculine and a little bit more standoffish you're not really going to be able to follow a man's lead so a masculine man and man of value we don't look down at a woman being self-sufficient what we look we look away from those independent boss babes that can't submit to a man or or follow a man's lead or even respect a man that's what i'll say to that but let's get to the super chats is it safe to say that there's not many (coughs) many men well, what's your what's your uh, definition of good? A man that can basically attest to what you're saying. Well, you don't have your standards aren't that high, so Maya you'll be has all a right. Question. What makes you say that? Um, because you said you six one and you you date a dude that's you are so five six. Wrong. That's the past. No, no, no. But listen, you know, listen, he listen. He about the past and he keeps bringing that up like it's Wait. today. But okay, so currently, <laughs> would you date a dude that's five six? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we get now, now we're about to get on you. Okay, so what's your height preference? I don't really like to be honest. I don't have a. It's no preferences. When you are sure about who like who you are and what yeah. you want, you just want to be happy. You want somebody who's qualified, who knows what they bring to the table, and like listen, like I want to I want to be wifed up. I want to wife you up. Like I want to get to know you and see how this goes. I want a man that's sure about what he wants in his future. Yeah. Not just like, oh, we're just going to date and see what happens. No. Okay. Okay. Sure what you want in your future. And how tall he got to be, though? <laughs> how, about, how, how about how tall is his confidence? Come on, bro. How no, tall he got to be? No, I'm being real because <sighs> I've dated men that are short, and it's like only because they're short. It's like... They have low confidence. How tall they gotta be? Are you talking about the six the, things, the six feet, six? What yeah, is it? Yeah, man, we about to get to that. Because <laughs> you know you are gonna f- get yourself in a hole, just no. like the rest of them. I guess that's my problem. I dated like five, 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 six, dude. Okay. Oh, oh uh, no. um, you had a question, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, does the does the desire to like cheat go away once you? Because you're married, I'm assuming, or no? No. Oh, okay, but you have kids. Yeah. Okay. Um, does the desire to cheat go away once you like meet the person that you marry? Like, does the desire go away? I'll yeah. tell you this: it's yeah. not. It's not like the desire to cheat. Is it isn't like, oh yeah, oh, these men just want to cheat. It, the desire to have sex, uh, like okay, just the, in does general. Your, it's not it's cheat, like this, right? Like, I, I'll be extremely honest because it, it it the same way I talked about the morality has to supersede the nature. It's the same thing. It never goes away. Like your desire of even you could meet a guy, right? And uh, he could be cute, charming, funny. You know, he's your height preference, everything. Like he's cool and he's making $400,000 a year, right? Mm -hmm. But like your emotions are here sometimes, there sometimes. I have good times and bad times, like all relationships is. Like you'll still be like scrolling and maybe watching the NBA game or a, a football game, NFL <laughs> game. And you see like this dude catch a pass like, ah, oh, wow. He's just like so hot. <laughs> and then like, you'll still see like, um, like a, a, a billionaire, like a Leonardo DiCaprio or, or any type of famous guy. And you'll be like, Oh man, I wish I had that. Like your high pergamous desire never goes away, even though you're could be like in a happy relationship. That's the same thing. A man's, desire of quantity never goes away it's all about the morality right so it's your moral your morals when your morals increase you won't even see another man like right. they'll kind of be invisible when a morals increase the man's uh, a yearning for quantity it ain't gonna go away but it's gonna be like can't even worry about them other chicks 
Like he he's not even gonna put him in so, put himself in situations where he can like garner that attention uh, and those desires. You know, uh, put him in a situation where he could you know to cheat and and you know exercise one of his options is what I'm saying. So yeah, but the desire really never goes away. Just the moral morality has to supersede the nature to some point, and I think that. <laughs> Generally speaking, um, men, yeah, yeah, just think about it just men. Seems significantly yeah, yeah, more that, that, than women, because but it, I think it, men are also a lot more visual. Well, it's, it's different. It's different things, is what I'm visual. saying. The thing is this, right? You don't always see top tier dudes. Like you, it's, it, I mean, you see them, but it's almost like it's like ah, like like you, you don't see them. But a man can always see sexuality. That's why they. On your OnlyFans, subscribing to your OnlyFans, and you know, watching porn and stuff. So it could be a man that's faithful to his woman, physically, but mentally, he's jacking off to your OnlyFans. So his morality doesn't supersede his nature. Mm. So it can be a situation like that, right? And it can be a situation flip it on the reverse side. A woman, she could have a guy and things is good, but. Like she's mentally already like over him. Like she doesn't really even admire her guy. He's just, he just got her by the skin of his teeth. Like he's just making it. He's just meeting the cut. You feel what I'm saying? So she's like maybe off, like, you know, kind of like pushing him to the side and like thinking about fantasizing about other dudes. Like that happens too. So it's like, it's like a, it's just a sticky situation, but good question though. Good question. I think it is possible, but this is why. You have to believe in something that's greater than yourself and your morals would increase. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like think about when you think about something greater than yourself, like God, you know that sometimes like you could cheat or you could have this fantasy about another guy. You could think in your mind like, oh, I'm having this fantasy about another guy, but I'm in a relationship and my guy would never know. But guess what? God knows. Mm -hmm. So when you think of a higher power, <laughs> it's like God knows your thoughts. Like this is why the phrase comes where only God can judge mm -hmm. because man can't really judge because we don't really know your thoughts, exactly. but God knows your inner thoughts. So it's like God knows your heart. So it's like only God can judge you when it comes to certain things, because you could kind of live this life, but internally, uh, uh, you was a devil. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's so because you got people that go to church could be murderers, rapists, you know, right, drug dealers, whatever. But at the end of the day, like hurting people, like purposely hurting people. Yeah. Um, and like I said, I have conversations with God every night. Um, I, I pray, God, you know, and I, again, I'm I'm not saying I'm not proud of what I do, nor am I ashamed because I have these conversations, with God. But I'm not I'm not I'm not proud to say, hey, you know, I know what my plan is, and God knows it too. And right or wrong, he could judge me at the end of it, but he knows my heart. And uh -huh. that's why I know Ooh, sorry. my plan. And I know that I'm trying to move in God's direction. So you got to drop that OnlyFans, right. baby girl. Oh, girl. Listen, let me tell you, every week when I have my meetings with my team, I do, I do it independently. I don't work with an agency. Um, I tell them, I said, listen, this is not permanent. This is temporary. The goal is to figure out how to monetize on my YouTube, how to monetize on my Facebook. I got almost 4 million followers on my Facebook. How are we going to make this money? I can make more money creating content that's purposeful that is than true to me fans. than OnlyFans. And yeah. that's what I'm trying to figure out because I skipped all that. Like, you know, that's a lot. That That's potential money. You, you We were talking about that when, before how the camera. How we get back yeah. to OnlyFans? No, we're just talk, we're talking about God. Like, for me. For me. I, I, I'm having these conversations with Yo, God. Morally, morally, I know I know the compass, right? And I'm not going to say, like, even when you're like, own it, own it. I'm not I'm not proud, nor am I ashamed. I know you what my intention. I know what my my, my, my intention is, well, and well, God knows really, my heart. Huh, Yo, you good, Steve. Really, um, which is, oh yeah, and a mouse. Got you. Really, the only... <laughs> um, like my YouTube. I got you. I got so here, here it is. Like, doing like this what? is how you know things work, saying? right? The only way you would have not made the OnlyFans, because she's real strict about it. That's why she keep bringing it up. So I kind of explain it she's to like, you. Why proud. She, she's like, be proud. No, 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 be because proud of I mean, it. No, no. What, what she's saying is, well, she's saying be proud of it, but she really means like you should be shameful of it. 
Um, That's not really what I'm saying. I, I mean, just want to know how we keep getting back to that conversation. <laughs> I mean, you've been all... You, you don't mean that. You've been on her the whole time about her OnlyFans, yeah, talking about how she needs to take key, accountability. We were just talking about something else. How did we go right back to OnlyFans? That's all I'm okay. talking about. God and the moral compass and how yeah. Um, yeah, that's men, what we was talk- men, men won't cheat if their morality... That's what I heard. All right, okay. so, so, so basically what I heard from you, and I think this is brilliant, is we're all capable of cheating. <laughs> it's how we choose to live our life because at the end of the day, we yeah. can hide it. And we could act all holy and moly, uh-huh. but God knows who we are. Yeah, so God we, knows. So at the end, for example, that's why I won't cheat. Because I believe that God's going to watch me, and that's not right. And if I love somebody, because, again, you're capable of seeing a God. Listen. Well, listen, talking- Mama Cita, hold up. Listen, listen. God watching that OnlyFans. He is. He is. He is. Everybody watching that OnlyFans. So you're telling me. He's the one that brings it back. No, what I'm saying. Because you kind of like you baited it. No, you but understand? But what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is, come on, there's got to be people that's got, I, even drug dealers I know would be like, I'm not going to sell cocaine. You know, I'm not going to lace my shit. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some people that at the end of the day are like, I'm going to make money for my community. So she sound like, yeah, I'm doing a little something, but Do you I, know mean, what I'm saying? I ain't doing porn. It's just OnlyFans. You know I see what you're saying. Okay, so now you I get what you're so saying. So, 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 do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm not laughing. Yo. Right. Can I change the tone? Right. Steve. Listen, all I'm trying to say, we are women. We do stuff. We have to survive. But my thing is, it, we don't have to keep talking about it. It is what it is. It's with you. It's with you and God, and we don't gotta keep Amen. talking about it. So I love it. That's uh, it. Yeah, let's just let's just. <laughs> that's let's it. it. The, I'm let's all up to it. that. Yes, that's please. It. Let's, yes, that's it. Let's drop it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Next date, don't Chris, bring it up. Thank you. Chris, <laughs> yo, listen. Hi, yo, listen. You gonna have to lie. Remember you talking about men lying. You're going to have to be like some of them men and start lying if you want to lock down the top tier. <laughs> no, they be knocking on my stuff. I think right now we're living it. We're going to get off the subject. There's a lot of high tier men because they're like, hey, I see what you're doing. Bro, you they, just, listen, produ- listen, you just produced a movie. You just wrote a book. Mamacita, listen, listen. You're literally Let me give you a little bit of game. Thing. Everybody calm down. Everybody I'm, calm I'm, down. I'm calm. Let me give you a little. I don't know how we got back. It's a good let change. Me a, We're changing something. Yeah, I know. Read the comments. You like, Read keep, the comments. You keep walking yourself into it just because you got to take a little bit. <laughs> like, you know things, but you, you, you're not letting it, like, fully, like, digest and soak in. So this is what I'm saying. <laughs> now, I said it before. Men are going to say anything to get to the cootie cat. They're going to take the easiest route to the success. <laughs> so even though they're giving you all these compliments and you think they're accepting of it, no, they're not. They're That's just saying that because l- they want to smash. Mm-hmm. This is why I they said want to smash. What if they want to put a show? ring on it and then smash? No, 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 no. Listen, they want to smash. We no, are I living have, in I a. Have, I have exactly that girl. want to marry me. They're like, listen, yes. we don't. We are living in an immoral world. The only guys that would marry you without hitting it first is low value dudes, which you wouldn't even accept their ring from, and that's a fact. And he was trying not to say that. That's a fact. The only dudes that would want to propose to you without smashing is low-value dudes and those men that you don't want. So don't use those.